was that sound? What the fuck was that? What? Oh no. Well, okay. <laughs> it was some kind of weird pop sound. I don't know what that was. I doubt that picked up. Ugh. Starting a little bit earlier today. That's good. I need to be pushing things up. Oh. I ate too much food. That's where I'm at. Physically. Emotionally. Well, to be fair, it wasn't actually too much food. It was just... Uh, bad food? I ate bad food. <laughs> Not like... Poison food, but like... Greasy fatty. This is a burger. I had a burger. A burger and fries. Most American shit. Which is something I actually rarely get. <laughs> rarely do I get burger. I get fries with stuff. Fries are good. I like fries. I also got a soda. I, I, I never get sodas. It's a Coke. And, and <sighs> American ice is so fucking annoying. I don't know if this is, like, I know in Europe there's not a lot of ice, and I appreciate that. I never use ice, almost ever, unless it's just, like, really hot outside, and I want a cold drink. Um, but, my God, there was about ten sips of Coke in, in that fucking drink that I got, because almost all of it was ice. It's ridiculous. It had so much ice that if I squeezed it, it would poke a hole. Like, it started to poke a hole in the styrofoam cup. <clears throat> how much ice was in it. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Paying for ice. <clears throat> it's probably where they make their money. They give you like one cent worth of cola. And then like ice is free. Basically. <laughs> you know, whatever water and then it's frozen. See, that's free. Like, in total, I bet it costs them, like, two cents to give you a, 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 a Coca-Cola drink. Because they just, like, don't give you much of anything. <clears throat> okay. Let's see what, what uh, commissions we got. We're just going to run through these. Um, and hopefully the aim of the game today, the game plan, it's in the title, get your AR-45, which we're very close. Might have to do a couple quests or something. I don't know. Maybe start Sumeru? It's an option. It's an option. Yep. Um. Honestly, I kind of want to wait and push Samara back a little bit. Um. Let's go, Tomato. Cause then it's like, man, we're at the end of the game, or like. Not into the game. But caught up. Cause then it's Samara and then uh, Fontaine, and it really doesn't take that long. That's a handful of streams, a couple of hours. What the heck is going on? This is nutty. There's some kind of sound glitch going on, too. Get off here. There we go. I am the cutting edge of fashion. <clears throat> and then there's not a whole lot to do 
and Star Rail today, realistically. Um, I'll probably be hopping over there just because I want to. Boop, boop. And I don't think that that banner will be out yet. I think that will still be tomorrow. And I'll probably start stream whenever that flips over. Assuming I'm like up and capable of doing that. Thanks, thanks, Tomato. That's so nice of you. Uh, let's go, Tomato. <laughs> oh no, you hit the pillar. I'm so upset. I did forget to do one thing that I was going to do before starting, because I want to do the artifact farming. I assume, I still think the golden troop is probably the best. I was going to look up to see if anyone had created a damage comparison of different artifacts for Chiori. I don't know if that exists or not, since she's uh, a sub DPS slash support character, and not many people care too much about what her damage is, even though it's good, it's good damage. get all the artifact farming done in one day because it's just so much we've got a lot of resin but if we can get her on yeah. a full set let's go tomato i think that will be enough for today we still got one more i thought we did four jeez okay Fifty-four. It's, it's, it's a lot of resin. Whatever fifty-four times sixty is. It's a lot of resin, which I'm very happy about. It's also a bit daunting because I don't know how that. I don't remember how that domain is going to go with just running Shiori. It might be a slow process. <laughs> Which is also probably why we'll be leveling up some artifacts as we go. Instead of just like waiting until the end. Because as her damage increases, the faster the farming will go. Like what, Thank you for comp. Yeah. Add so, Astra. Oh, we're close. Only about two thousand. <laughs> I don't know if anything would give like 
I doubt anything gives 2,000. Fifty. Okay. Oh, all right. I forgot. We're not even gonna be going straight to Samara. We've got these two to do. Maybe we do that. Although, I should also probably clean up some of this. There's a lot. There's a lot. There's also a lot that we can't do, which is fine, but, you know. Mm. Oh, snap. I almost forgot about those. Those are the weekly uh, requests. Let's make sure we do those. Holy crap. I was going to forget. I was totally going to forget. There's plenty of other world quests around, like whatever that one is. There'll be stuff. There's stuff. We'll, we'll do it. It shouldn't take long. Realistically. Don't cry now. What's going on, kids? You'll need some tofu or something. I didn't really read it. Oh, wait, you. I talked to the wrong one. Now your mom will come back, maybe. She's left to get milk. Ah! Uh, why don't I have the thing? Let's go make the thing. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, brother! <sighs> is it a blue? Do I even have the recipe? Ah, miso soup. Man, I haven't had miso soup in a long time. It's just good. Um, hey, I mean, you saw it? You got, you got some almond tofu? No. Squirrel fish. Hell yeah. I don't know what that is. That sounds... Uh, I, I, I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know how to feel about that. And we'll do some shopping. Uh, Nausage. Yeah, why not? Sure. It's fine. Okay. Alright. Um crap. Try something new at the water restaurant. That's what the hell is squirrel fish. Should I save this money? Maybe I missed it. Radish, monster, mint, mora, stir fried, protein, honey, okay, it's not there. No. There's too much food. This is always such a pain. I know that they added some, where they're going to add some changes some of the menus. I don't know 
update? Well, they'll probably continue doing that. They need to, f they need to fix the food menu. That's absurd. That's crazy. That's too much. Do you have it? No, but give me, give me tofu. Cause I need that. I already have a hundred. That's fine. And some almonds. So I have things. Shrimps. Rice, why not? Oh, there's a cooking thing right here. I never noticed. Uh. It's a green dish. You get it Wang Shuen, okay. <laughs> Probably just did not buy it. Guarantee it. Oh, and it needs milk. Hmm. I don't know if I have milk. Oh, you just sell it to. Sick. Wait, but you don't sell the recipe? Do. Well, no, that's that's not the recipe. That's just the actual thing. Where do I get the recipe? The recipe for this table and this game with interactable points in the kitchen. Oh, that's so weird. Ugh, okay. Uh, that. Almond toe. Oh, I got it. Okay. Weird. I never knew that. That's obscure. For a game where it just usually just used to, just sells the stuff, you just go and buy it. All right. That took too long. I hope they give AR experience. I mean, we still need to do it. We still need to do it. It gets us one step closer to trip for Chiori. Okay, shut up, kids. Stop. Stop crying. Here's tofu. Take it. Okay. Uh-huh. No, just Lee away reputation. Okay, that's fine. That is still good. Ten mints. That sounds kind of weird. Ten minutes. As soon as we talk about the plant. But it sounds like mints that you put in your mouth. When you talk about plural. I I'm sure I have it. I'm gonna be shocked if I don't. Okay, yeah, I've got it. Goodbye. Okay. Here we go. Soap flowers. Ah! So you're in. Oh, as a child. You can go pick silk flowers. There's plenty. In fact, there's a lot. In this city, even. Speaking of, I need more silk flowers. There you go. 
See, we could probably do that. Put us in Fontaine. I don't really want to. I don't really want to do anything in an area that I haven't done the primary archon quest for, unless we really have to. Um, Fontaine three archaic stones for many. That's not a lot of. ARXP, but let's see how easy it is. Because that could also be an indicator. How quick and easy is that? Because it all helps. Let's get to our ultimate goal. Oh, I don't have any. Okay, I don't know where those are. Is it going to show us where they are? No, it's not. Of course not. Why would it? Um, the Bard Talison seeks your help. Ring he stole from Weasel Thief been stolen. Okay. Where's you? Where are you at? You over there? Let's go over there. Maybe we'll find the three stones along the way. I really, I don't remember what they are or where they are or anything like that. I barely remember much about this part of the chasm. Very much remember down below. Okay. You. No. Wait, this isn't that hide and seek game, is it? Or the one with the, the bomb in it? Feeding schedule, schedule for the Weasel Thieves. Oh, brother. Okay. 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 Sure. Oh, uh, we gotta change the time to the up the up the. Well, I remember that was a time. I didn't pay that close attention. All right. Do we go on the rock? We go on the rock. There's the golden thief. Lend me a hand. Are we supposed to kill it? <laughs> okay. Talison is down below. Okay. Easy enough. I'm genius. I knew exactly what to do. There was no doubt ever at any point. Oh, and you have a quest too. Hey, Talison. Here's your ring. Give. Give. Right. And we're getting primos. Look at that. Look at that. All right. What do you got? That's yeah, all right. Been better. Ah, no. Good. Been doing real good, actually. Thanks for asking. I'm not listening to any anything else you say, though. <laughs> Well, that's pretty good, though. Okay. Is there not music? Oh, no, there is. It's just 
not all the time. Oh, I need the thing. There we go. Yeah. We have light. We have lumen spill light. Nailed it. That was just like stupid easy. I'm just shirming. Oh yeah, and the 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 mage. Can we just talk to her? Yeah, what's up? Katarina, that's right. I wonder if we'll see her in Shnezhnaya. That'd be interesting. Well, we gotta find your friends. We can find your friend, Katarina. Nicolay. Nicolay? It's a cool name. It's like Nicholas, but cooler. <laughs> I don't know. I only say that because the only I only know I've only ever met one person named Nicholas, and they were not not a very cool person. I think that really influences your. Uh, your idea of a name. Your feelings that you have for a name is who do you know with that name? And are they a good or bad person? <laughs> or whatever. In this case, I think Nicholas was a bit of an oddball. I'm sure he's doing fine now. Oh no! Laser beam! It's a pri oh wow, no, it's hitting me. I thought it was just bis missing. But no, that was hitting. That was giving big damage. Did, did I use it right? It's giving. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know how, I know how to use that. Young and slang. The slang of the children. <laughs> Give. Yeah. No? Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. And that one, I don't know if that teleport's correct. They really should have added layers for the chasm map. these fuckers down here. Going to completely avoid you. Here. Weird. Okay. Tubs. Cutscene. Or, okay, not really. Just forced. Forced interaction. Progress. Progression. We are being, we are making. I could also probably spend some of that there. Resin. I don't know if there's any more weekly bosses to fight. But that gives a good chunk. Duh, 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 duh. Oh, um, I don't think we can actually kill Raiden. I don't think it's possible. But what we can go ahead and do is... Can 
condense it. I should also probably need more, more of those. More crystal flies. Who? I don't actually know what the math comes out to, if that's enough or not. It's probably close. Yeah! Ooh, and that'll help us get further with that. Oh, we're so close. Oh, we're so close to the glider. We might focus Lee away. Just for, just for that simple fact. Like, hey, what do you got? Cool, don't care. Oh, yeah, you're... Oh, I remember this. She's from... Inazuma. And she's kind of stuck because of the Sakuko decree. And I think now that it's... Now that it's over, she can go back, maybe? some more crystal flies and maybe run that domain a little bit. I want to check it out. I know it wouldn't be as efficient. <clears throat> but I want to check it out. I feel like doing that. Alright. It is... There's also crystal flies over here. Nice. And you. Perfect. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No, that's obvious. This one. Hello. Shonk? Shonk? Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. What's up? Alright, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test... Ooh, that gives a hundred. That's good. <clears throat> I'm gonna see if we can do this. I mean, I've done it before, I think. But I wanna see how long it takes. Because we're gonna be doing a lot of this. Next customer, grab some color. Get her! Ha! Yeah, these are pretty ha! tough. So, yeah. <laughs> Without that team and without any Oso or Noma. Okay. Not terrible. Oh, right, that's different than the, the higher levels. Because it's him and one of the spinny ladies. I don't know the na their name. Uh, but it's a little bit tougher than a doll. And whatever the heck this thing is. Delicate as silk. That's not nearly as bad. But we are going to run through. Stashing the seven healing. Doing this however many times. Alright. What was the time? A minute and 55. Holy crap. Oh, that's going to be rough. it gave us a gold one what is it it's nothing nothing okay 
Oh, I could make some foods. I could make some food buffs to make that go a little bit faster. Oh, cool. 13. All right. 1,400 away. Nice. We're getting close. Hey. Home lies over the ocean. Let's go do that. Seems simple. Go deliver a letter. Get 100 XP. And you have a quest. Midori. Nice. Hello. Here's a letter from your daughter. She's in leeway. Yup. Mm-hmm. stories. Uncle Ramsey. Travelogue. Vlo vlogs. In a zoom of vlogging. Travel vlogs. Mm -hmm. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. All right, but how much XP you're given? Wherever that went. Uh, or is that a legit quest? What the heck? Where'd it go? Uh, Well, it was right there. I'm blind. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, but y'all want me to wait. I can do that. 18 tomorrow. There you are. We love waiting. It's the best. Tight. It's a tanuki. I don't really mean a tanuki. Suko's family came out. Oh, hey! Yeah, you got it back. Great. Now there's no Sococo degree decree. No, no. Maybe I should have been reading. <laughs> uh, that's all right. I'm not concerning myself with your family drama. Maybe I am. Okay. Things I do for XP. Uh, what did it just say? Follow me. Oh man, my immersion. I have to actually wait a, a real day? That makes this quest so much better. Okay. Yeah, she ran off. What's up with that? Why'd she do that? <clears throat> yeah, I can go look for her. Okay. Yep. Or whatever. That works, too.
We're making it. <clears throat> I don't know where those are. That's 300. That's pretty good. But I think that this one requires multiple days, possibly. Hey, what's up, Arachnic? Server plan? Uh, I'm in North America. There's a. Can I move over enough? No, I can't. Oh no! Oh shit! Except defeat. Okay. Um. Yeah, although I, for this account, I am, uh, yeah. Yeah. locked out of co-op currently. Yeah. Dude, I was you. I didn't even realize. <laughs> I didn't know that, that uh, I mean, I know that could happen, but I was not paying attention. I was stun locked the whole way down. Ooh, give me that. So, uh, do chess, I can't remember, do they give a reasonable amount of AR XP, or is it like none at all, basically? Because if it's like 10, then I'm not interested. Um, a giant mushroom from another land. What land are you from? She shroom. <laughs> uh, oh, the golden sands. Okay, rainforest. You're from Samaria. That's interesting. You're not that far, realistically. Uh, this is quite cozy. Uh-huh. Sheesh, shrimp. <coughs> Doesn't look a little under the weather. Does it? It's a giant glowing mushroom. How does it look under the weather? How can you tell? Okay, recharge. There, you, you can have my energy. It's 10, it's 20, it's 23. Okay, so yeah, not worth it. Thank you for that. Thank you for looking that up. We're super close to AR-45. We'll get it in, like, the next hour. Um, with just a couple of quests. Quests. Oh, where is it? There it is. how that works. <laughs> okay. There's one way over there. It's not too bad. Yeah. 
Here you go, mushroom. I did the thing. It is really pretty. Hail Chiori, hail Paimon. Hey Charlotte, how's it going? Uh, many leg, legged, four legged, paid no heed. Two legged turned a deaf ear. They're just not paying attention to a giant glowing mushroom. That's crazy. Why would they not do that? Don't, don't worry about it, big big mushroom. Big big sheesh shroom. Two legged or inferior to the legless. Some bold claims there, but okay. Go for hard work. Call it fate one day. Squilling mushrooms talking super big. He is talking big. He's big. Good big mushroom. Yeah, chicken mushroom skewers. I personally am not a fan of mushrooms. Um, it's not really a flavor thing. I think the flavor's fine. It's a, it's a texture thing for me. I don't like the texture of mushrooms. And I have yet to find a way that I'm okay with eating mushrooms. Oh, you got a whole lot of quest going on, big big mushroom. And the texture is where, yeah. So you agree? Hell yeah. I'm not a fan of anything where you like. I don't know how to describe it. It's like mushy on the inside, but like your teeth cut into the outside. Like, similarly, I'm not a fan of sausages. Because I don't like the act of cutting into the film and then they're like, like breaking the skin with, with my teeth makes me feel bad. Are you done? Not like emotionally feel bad, but like it feels gross. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I always kind of feel bad whenever someone's like, "Oh, you gotta try this like incredible German whatever." $20 hot dog, and it's like, yeah, I don't want to. I, uh, the blessings of wisdom? Sick. I'm super wise now. Just like that? Easy. Source of foul energy is indeed something that can't be left unattended. Why don't you deal with it yourself? Yeah, you stupid mushroom. You can't, you can't keep your room clean. Uh, legless, ancient metal, the matters of the two legs. You have a greater duty. It's too much strength. It was a pleasant conversation with you two, but it's a, it's a marin. Must rest now and gather strength to fend off evil and provide a shelter for its kin to prosper. Hey, you like? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I can dig it. The sheesh shroom has gone to sleep. Sheesh. The source of the foul energy. Follow the water's flow. We'll go over there. Okay. Is the water even flowing? Kind of. I guess we'll just follow the map. Oh, is it you? 
Oh no, it's, it's up above. It is not this banished knight. Okay, guess I haven't killed all of them yet. I have not been keeping track. Uh, this way? Wait. Shit. No, it's down. I can't believe that they never added the layered map for the chasm. This is a nightmare. Is it over here? It's further down. Is it through there? Or is it down there. Well, that doesn't that doesn't line up either. This is it. It looks nasty. This is some for sure nasty shit. Hey, maybe that? More purple. Here's some water. What about this? Nope. That's all in the environment. Hmm. Oh, oh, we're continuing our adventure. I see. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, up. You know, the water is down below. Okay. We're still more up. Oh, okay. Up here? We making it? We do it. Is it in this little room? That I do not remember how to get into? There it is. Should probably heal. Lend me a hand. Scrub the color. Scatter. Yeah, it would be fine. I don't think this is part of this quest. Wow, you gain a shield fast. Shield bots. Jeez. Okay, now I should heal. <laughs> okay. I am the cutting edge of fashion. All right. Goodbye. The Oh, the water stream is dead. Okay.
so none of this is even remotely relevant. Well, that's relevant. I'll take that shit. Oh, let sure. me take note of this. Uh, so I thought it was the blue circles on the map, but I guess it's not. I did see that Geovish app. Um, just to be honest, I didn't want to fight it. Let's do this real quick. Ooh. Well, let's mm. go. Let me take note of this. <laughs> I like those puzzles. Those are fun. Unlike that one in, uh, On Sarai Island, where you have to do it a very specific way, and it gives you no, no indication that it needs to be done in such a specific way. I am the cutting edge of fashion. Okay. Must not have been the Geovish app, but it was one of them. What do we got? Little Sinsins, or whatever they're called. Blue circles are marking lumen spread. Oh. oh, that explains why there's lumen stone <laughs> in every spot there. Okay, I guess I've collected enough to the where it started doing that. Um, but I didn't realize that I'd collected that many. And to be honest, I prefer the the newer system that they introduced where you have to go to the thing. You have to go to the tree or pool or whatever and like ask it to give you the hint. I think that's much better. Another Geova shop. Because I guess we just literally follow the water. That makes a lot of sense. Aha! That's probably it. Yeah. Oh, no. Are you done? Oh. oh. 
suck at so losers. This is what you like? Didn't even have to kill you. Although I did almost die. <laughs> oh, and I have your quest to go find her buddy, which I think I know where he is. I think he's in that one spot. Uh, where there's like a, a camp. And there's a bunch of uh, the nastiness that like falls, falls on, from, from the ceiling. So I think that's a multi-day quest line. Um, in which you find all of her friends who are lost in the chasm. <laughs> hey, sheesh, shroom. We're back. Managed to block it off. Problems solved. You know, I totally thought that you went to sleep. I guess not. Oh, went back to sleep. All right, perfect. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> All right. Well, even closer than before. Oh, I have a thing in Inazuma. Okay. Yeah. Oh, corp. Which one was her quest? Uh, travel log, Neko, lost in a foreign land. No, that's Nicolet. Wait, yes, this is a Nicolet. Yes, okay. I kind of hope that. Well, that's not where I thought it would be. Okay. I kind of hope that we, when we get to Shnezhnaya that they release playable characters that are like... a version of the enemies. So like the, the, the mage character, the mage enemy, or like in this instance, Katarina. I think it'd be really cool if they made it like a playable character version of them and they're like in the story being like I'm the like head mage and you like spawn your little well you kind of have a, a an improved version of their, their kit where they spawn the little bat things and they zap electricity Like, they got a face in higher detail. I think that could be interesting. I doubt they'll do that. Like, there's no way. Let me just clear something out here. Hmm. This is not at all where I thought it would be. Top of, uh, of Shnezhnaya. Hopefully, they don't redeem the Saritza. I I am of the opinion that I don't think she's actually the bad guy. 
I think that the bad guy is Celestia. And that the Saritza is trying to take on Celestia. That's, that's, uh, that's, that, that is the, the theory that I uh, hold on to. Could obviously be totally wrong. It's not even a theory I came up with. Um, but if the Saritza is Kokolia, <laughs> then she's probably going to die. <laughs> um, so I suppose that could you, you could have you could kind of have that happen. Let me take note of this. I kind of want the Saritza to be uh, Bronya, though. But it will be. It, I I can. I just can't imagine that. Next customer. Uh, Snezhnaya would be anything other than. Some new variation of Kakolia Bronya. I just don't know how they'd remix it. I am the cutting edge of fashion. Cause I mean even Genshin starts out like Honkai does. Kind of. Where the beginning of Honkai is about Windy and Windy and uh, Windy and what the fuck's his name? The Bard. The 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 Animo Archon. Venti. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, that shouldn't have taken me that long to get. Or like the same. Not really, but they're very similar. So we'll definitely. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I'm. I'm. I'm hoping for Bronya at some point. That's all I'm saying. I guess that was a long way of getting to that point. I want. I want to run around as Bronya. Hey, girl. Found some evidence. Don't know where your man actually is, though. I think I do actually know. But that is clearly not a part of today's quest. It would be interesting to see how they uh, subvert the Saritza, though. Just a little bit more. Hello, welcome. I'm dad. I'm not dad. I'm not a dad. <laughs> oh, boo, boo, boo. Was it Yambo? In front of smugglers camp? Okay. Oh, I'd love to be able to do that one. 500 would be sweet. Thaw out all the... Yeah, okay, yeah, no. 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 Can't do that. Oh, I could probably do that. That's probably quick. The next 
day of the reactor quest line. Hopefully this is another quick one. Hey, Xavier. Is shit just as bad as last time? Okay, retrieve the beacons. Easy. Easy. Let's do it. Yeah. And then honestly, I might just get the last couple hundred XP by starting artifact farming a little early. Even though it's going to be not as te technically not as productive or efficient or whatever. Where's that one? There it is. What's one more? Okay. Uh, from this way, I think. And we should have plenty of artifact fodder to level up anything we get. wanted those crystal flies. Why would it not give me the crystal flies? It's annoying. Okay. Xavier. Here's your bacons. Nice. 860. 3860. Uh... That's pretty good. It's about the travel guide. Yeah. We should be able to do that. This is probably just a bunch of talking. And this is where we meet. Uh, I don't use him, so I don't remember his name. Four star Yulon. Yeah, there he Feel is. Free to look around. Jing, Jing no obligation to buy. Jing, Jing Show? We're looking for the Liyue volume of the Tibet Travel Guide. Oh, I forgot. This is a voice. Okay. Sorry, dear. We stopped stocking that a very long time ago. It just wasn't selling. Huh? But the Mondstadt volume was so interesting. Bummer. Bummer. Oh, old Paimon. The thing is... The author made it too personal, and the result wasn't really much of a guide. Well, like how Recipes Online has the five paragraphs about your life fucking story and not... It barely sold any not copies. Not anything to do with the recipe. And the few travelers that did buy it made complaints afterward. Content was a little too wild. Well, that's a shame. The Mondstadt volume was a good read, even just as an adventurer's diary. The fact remains that I don't have it in stock. If you must read it, try your luck at Chang the Ninth's place. Who's Chang the Ninth? A book collector who lives in Qingzhe Village. Oh yeah, he's up on he's that He's a complete grouch. Hill. But he will behave himself if the conversation is about books. He was a regular customer here back when he lived in Liyue Harbor. And I still send him the odd out-of-print book or two every now and then. Did somebody say out-of-print books? Hello, short shorts. Is there a chance that volume six of Legend of the Shattered Halberd is also in his collection? Who are you? Apologies, my leash. Where are my manners? My name is Sing Cho, a humble literature enthusiast who happened to be passing by. Have you ever heard of pants? Since you and I are both in search of lost books, what say we travel together to Mount Qingse and pay a visit to Chang the Ninth? Okay. My pleasure, fellow book lover. Let's 
It's funny because the average Genshin player hasn't read a book in seven years. <laughs> so. And I'm definitely not projecting. Hello, grumpy old man who likes books. <sighs> oh, he's so smiting grumpy. Me. Smiting me to smithereens. Uh-huh. And what do you want? Come on, spit it out. Do you climb three ladders to go leave the house to go get milk? We've heard you've got tons of books crazy. flying around, and we want to borrow the Leoe volume of the Tevat travel guide. You could have put your house somewhere that's not on a side of a cliff. Huh. <laughs> Don't get me started on the topic of my books. You could also install stairs. After the chasm was sealed off, the family mining business started going south. Then the Fatui started working to sabotage me. Well, they started mentioning the chasm, like, super early. To pay off my debts, I had no choice but to pawn off my beloved book collection. Every last book. Do you have any idea what that means? <clears throat> No. <laughs> Wrong. That was my life's work. I devoted my entire life to curating, collecting, caring for them. And now they're gone. Gone, I tell you. Would it be like if I sold all of my anime figurines? <sighs> it's is that the same thing? ranting and raving at you like this. All I can do is try to save enough Mora to buy them back. Unless you have other business here, I'm done talking to you. Goodbye. Off you go. Go on, go. Go get Please tell me that go. you didn't pawn get. volume six of Legend of the Shattered Halberd. Legend of the Shattered Halberd? <laughs> there is a title I haven't heard in a long time. You have good taste, my boy. What? But we don't? That work was an epic defining masterpiece. Granted, it was almost unknown at the time it was published. But over time, it was the work that came to define the genre of martial arts novels and sparked a plethora of imitation works. Barely any copies of the first edition were ever printed. The later edition inexplicably went out of print almost as soon as it was released. A shame, given what it allegedly added to the original story. Mm. Yes. That's right, how did I forget? The original edition, sixth volume of that work is, is so rare, I could never bring myself to pawn it no matter how much I needed the money. So they're, they're remaking Spice and Wolf? Which I think is crazy. You mean, you mean you still have it? I'm gonna watch it. Yes. I love Spice it and Wolf. It is my one and only remaining treasure. Hey Chang. I hope it's a continuation. I have I think a couple episodes are out. I hope it's a continuation and not just like a full on remake. You've got some nerve keeping me and my boss waiting like this. I need an answer. Will you sell the Corlapis or not? I'm sure you don't need me to remind you that if you mess with Gentry Mautsai, you're messing with the Fatui. Oh no. Uh, you again. But you know I can't afford to give a 70% discount on the price. <laughs> I'd never be able to buy my collection back. Oh, 70% discount. That's, That's your business. Oh, the this is racketeering. Is, do you want your books or do you want food on your plate? Perhaps you'd like to take your books with you to an early grave. But he doesn't have his books, so how would he do that? <sighs> you. Whoa there, friend. Come on. This gentleman is either willing to make a deal or he's not. You can't force him to sell against his will. That's right. Just who do you think you are? Keep your nose out of other people's business. My liege, I am but one who comes to the aid of this gentleman in his moment of need. I am Tsingcho, disciple of the Guhua clan. My liege, who does this guy think he is? <laughs> Guhua clan? Did you hear this clown? He thinks he's a Guhua master in this day and age. <laughs> 
Oh, there was me thinking the last granddads of Guha had keeled over and died by now. <laughs> Who were you supposed to be then, huh? Some sort of Guha messiah? Maybe. Justice is blind to our backgrounds, my friend. That just makes me someone trying to do the right thing. But you? The weasel who does the tiger's bidding may be less powerful than his master, but he is no less guilty. Get a load of this guy. <laughs> just you wait. You'll be sorry you crossed me. Bro, you don't even have a bespoke model. And you, Chang? You're selling that core lapis whether you like it or not. <sighs> oh, how the wolves prey upon the fallen tiger. My days are numbered. So, just to come back to what we were talking about earlier, <laughs> could I get a yay or nay about borrowing <laughs> that book? <laughs> I know you're getting threatened and racketeered and whatnot, but, like, you got that book? Oh, uh, what does it matter now? I can't expect anybody to care about me anymore. But since you did stick up for me, please just take this book and leave me in peace. All right, let's go. Three long years go, I go, have go, waited go, go. for this day. Words cannot express my gratitude. I, Sincho, vow to repay this great act of generosity. Yeah, but what if the sequel sucks? All right, give it a rest. Just bring it back when you're finished. Sorry, but I'm not about to put my hopes in some self-professed Guhua disciple. Hey, where are you going? We've still got a job to do over here. Did you at least oh, take the book? Everything I lost. Where's where's that that geoculus? Oh, we disappeared. Oh, there it is. It was probably up on that mountain. I'm not going to get that. You're already reading it? So, Is it any good? you like reading, huh? Mr. Five Second Hero? Tell him, Paimon! Ho oh, ho, amazing! I never saw that coming. Hello? Shincho? Anybody in there? No wonder this book is so highly sought after. Go back at Chang's nice, pretty bossy. The boss guy at Chang's nice. It's okay, whatever. How can they bully poor old Chang the knife like this? Forcing him to sell his ore for dirt cheap? It's daylight robbery, pure and simple. We've run into a lot of these types of racketeering stories throughout Lee Away. Don't forget me. I'm in too. Oh, so now you can hear what we're saying. Like the shit that was happening on Rito? The reason I borrowed this book is that it would be a real pity if Chang the Ninth ended up having to pawn it. And I meant every word I said to Chang the Ninth. I will return his act of kindness. It is the just thing to do. I will be custodian of this book, and I will also help find a way to buy back the rest of his collection. You don't have a plan at of all. Of course I do. An nah. initial plan, anyway. Mm -hmm. I still need to work out the details. That's what everybody says. Give me a second to reflect. It shan't take but a moment. I just finished reading the book. You're still here? What is this, a game to you? You think no one's really gonna get hurt? Can we just fight you? <laughs> I gotta hand it to the goofball clan. What you lack in numbers and talent, you make up for in guts. One of these is not quite like the other. Also, I never noticed, but she has like a. Uh, belly cutout? Crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say goofball clan? I meant Guhua clan. Oh, That's what whoa, you goofballs clever. call it, right? Oh, oh, <laughs> There's a saying that goes oh, oh. the insect that shakes the oak tree ludicrously overestimates its ability. Uh, Quit quoting proverbs at me, you buffoon. This goofball is part of so funny. 
I wonder how that works in other languages. Like what 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 would be the the joke? Please leave this place. I will not tolerate an attempt to coerce an honest traitor, especially when the one you seek to threaten is one to whom I owe a debt of gratitude. <sighs> it's cute that you want to stick your neck out for Chang and all. But you picked the wrong time, you little punk. I brought the Fatui to back me up. A whole army of you and your little Guha buddies wouldn't be able to help you now. Bro, she's just she's just vibing. She's just she's just like fucking yeah. Oh, feeling herself. Let's go. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. I may be young, my liege, but the path I have chosen makes me no stranger to conflict. Stop calling people Why my liege. Why should I cower in the face of evil? But that's the same shit as saying milady and tipping your fedora. Oh, great speech. <laughs> but now it's time for you to learn your lesson. Are you here to play with me? Scrub with color. Scatter! The more, the merrier. Okay. I thought that was just a regular pendant you were wearing, not a vision. Bro, really? You won this round, but you better watch your back. This isn't over. That one almost kind of looks like a vision. Be like a really grandiose vision. Would it be too much to hope they've learned their lesson? You're no, more than no, Guha you meets the eye. That fellow has a foul mouth, to be sure. Okay. But his assessment of the state of the Guhua clan is, well, not exactly incorrect, I suppose. <sighs> Though I long to restore Guhua to its former glory, it is no easy task. Everybody else out here is calling you goofball. They've gone for now, but they'll be back looking to cause more trouble before long. I'll see to it that no harm comes to those who show me kindness. There is a just and unjust Bring way to do business. And I will ensure the matter is resolved satisfactorily. Yeah, well, okay, but what's worse, a fedora or a top hat? It's not like the Fatui to pick sides in a business dispute. But the confident demeanor of their errand boy suggests there is substance to his words. And to be clear, the... The, the, the hat wear it only becomes cringe when you do not have a suit. There must be a deeper level of collusion at work here. Top hat's worse. It's also probably more rare. He mentioned Top Gentry hat's Maltai. Top gotta be more rare. I know this name. He has a stately residence in Liyue Harbor. Maybe the two of you could go and investigate. That idea works, but what are you going to do? Me? I have other things to look into. Let me see. Let us meet at Yujing Terrace in Liyue Harbor in a bit. Well, they did not focus this shot correctly. The focus is on these plants. They're completely blurred out. You really <clears> have <throat> stuff to do? Are you sure you're not just using us as your errand runners? Wow, so that's how that turned out. No, brother. This whole passage is just... Okay, Ugh. shut up. This guy is so annoying! Paimon just wants to slap him right in his stupid face! Jing Xiao's vengeance may not be swift, but it will surely come. <laughs> Fine. But, as per tradition, Paimon gets to pick an ugly nickname for him. From now on, he shall be known mm. as Guhua Geek. That's not your strongest, Paimon. That's not your strongest. You go first. No need. One more pick. Does that give us? Is that it? I mean, obviously it's not done, but that is 350. Let's go. What is this? A dream solvent from Zhao? Hell yeah. Is that the best birthday mail? Something actually usable? That's crazy. I didn't I didn't remember that he gave a dream solvent. 
That's nuts. All right. It's not so much the rain that All bothers right. me, but the mud. Because now we are 210. So yeah, literally 200. Let's go do it. Let's go do it. Do it, 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 do it. I'm ready for the pain and suffering. Yeah, I've convinced Resin. Lend me a hand. I would not be doing it otherwise. And I already, I already condensed some at the beginning of stream. And this is actually the second time to run this domain so far. I checked earlier. It took me about two minutes. Which is not great. I'm thinking we're gonna need some food buffs, but I don't know which ones would be ideal for us. And obviously, Adeptus Temptation would be the best, but it is uh, not an efficient food to cook. Unless I happen to have a lot of the materials, which I doubt I do. Lend me a hand. Just for the pure sake that this account is not very old. Okay. 218. That took longer. First one was actually a minute 55. Whoa. And 45. Oh, I didn't give gold? That sucks. All right, what are these? Crit rate, HP, lame. And this will probably give a bit more condensed resin as well. Add ast or not condensed resin, fragile resin. It does too. <laughs> And we get the artifact strong box. I didn't realize I was at 45. Okay, nice. Not that that's super helpful, because golden troop isn't there. Um. Do we have to ascend? Is that what determines drop rates? Yeah, it would be. World level, right? We, we have to do that, don't we? You don't think so? Oh, 
Let's read it. Let's see what it says. Uh huh. Adventure rank. The various quests. Uh, yeah, yeah. Adventure rank ascension. Your adventure rank has reached the current maximum, and you may choose to complete the adventure rank ascension quest. After completing the quest, you will obtain the following. Maximum adventure rank will increase. Your world level will increase, increasing the levels of monster, monsters and bosses, as well as quality of drops. So yeah, I think we do have to do it. Which is fine. It just, it sucks that we can't ascend at 45. Can we enhance the weapon? No, that's 52. Is it Venture Rank Ascension 3? Well, <clears throat> I think regardless, we have to do it anyways, and we'd eventually do it. Yeah, we can lower it, I think. Of course, last time I tried to do that, we weren't. After reaching world level five, you can decrease it. Okay. So yeah, we could decrease it, but I think that would also decrease the drops. Let's see. Reach world level five, the option to decrease your world level will become available. You can reduce your world level by one. Decreasing your world low. Decreasing your world level lowers the level of ley line blossoms and opponents in the open world, but also decreases the rewards you gain from defeating them. 24 hours to redo it. Decrease it uh, or decrease it after restoring. You must wait 24 hours. Although, it, okay, wait, but it says decreases your world level, lowers the level of ley line blossoms and the opponents in the open world but also decreases the rewards you gain from defeating them. But them talking about the enemies in the open world and ley line blossoms. When you're in a domain, that's not a ley line blossom. I'll click on the thing. Okay, there we go. Okay, this isn't that old of an article or Reddit post. I'm not finding the exact answer. Okay. 
affected by world level. It doesn't. World level doesn't affect domain drops, but it affects cubes, vines, dragon, wolf, child drops. But that's just one person posting on GameFAQs forum. <laughs> But it also, world level might not affect the domains, actually, because they're set by levels. So this might not matter at all. All right, whatever. We're just going to do it. I think that it doesn't actually affect domains. Lasers. <laughs> oh, they want to freeze you with that. <laughs> Get wet and then get frozen. Oh, this one is straightforward. Oh, maybe this is with a cube now. No? Next customer, I am the cutting edge of fashion. And all the previous ones, you had to go through multiple chambers. Cube. Delicate as silk. They nerfed the ascension quests. Oh, I think I do remember hearing. Next customer. What? I feel like that defeats the purpose of the Let's go, tomato. Scrub, what this is supposed to do. It's supposed to like check your characters and say like, hey, are you prepared to make things harder? That feels like a disservice. Hey, if your team cannot defeat the Electro Cube in here, then yeah, you shouldn't increase your world level. Next customer. Yeah. Delicate as silk. Yeah. Push me against the wall. Alright. Oh, people were complaining about it being hard? But yeah, yeah, that's supposed to be the point of it. It's supposed to be, like, <laughs> a test. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. All right. World level six. And then you, just, and then you can just lower it if you want. Well, then I guess that's fine. If they made it easier, and then you get, and then you do it, and then you're like, oh no, it's too hard. Uh, then you can just lower it. I don't know. Whatever. 
All right, let's see. Let's take a look at food. Oh, I think that, did that give? That gave us two pulls. Let's see. Nothing. Sweet. Love it. Okay. So. Defense boosting and attack boosting would actually, like, doing both would be good. Oh, I can make a few Adeptus Temptations. Okay. Okay. We got, we got, okay, crab. Yeah, that's a lot of crab. That's a lot of shrimp. We need more ham. And more Matsutake. Crit supplement resistance, crit rate, eight to twelve percent. Three hundred seconds is not long. They're all three hundred seconds. Okay. <laughs> what about defense boosting? Oh, that's a pain for us to get Sakura stuff. Is that flower? Mm. What do we what do we have an abundance of? Hmm. Let's make a couple of these. We'll see if we need them. couple of variety of other stuff that we could use if need be. Let's go check it out. We still have a couple of condensed resin. <clears throat> and just take quick inventory. Starting out, we have this flower. Some attack some crit damage sorry fed this is the flower <laughs> we have this flower crit damage some defense pretty nice not great this feather attack crit damage and this is a, 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 a nothing piece that's purple I don't even think we have anything to really replace it with and similarly this one it's got some Crit damage. Really want a geo. Want a geo goblet. And then this random crit rate with a little bit of crit damage. Circlet. We could try leveling that, but uh, honestly, I think we're just gonna move past any purples. So that's what we're starting out with. 56 resin. Aha. Okay, so we do... Or even... So we have to go into the level 91. Oh, boy. This is, this is going to be more tough. For sure. All right, 
so I was I was even I was testing with the wrong version. I was testing the level 81. Oh, this is gonna be a fucking pain in the ass. Oh, brother. You picked the wrong replica. Get her. There's gonna be the two robots after this. And this guy's just a tank. Hmm. We might need to adjust our build before actually trying this even any further although realistically the biggest thing is probably just pure level we're not level 90 our weapon is not level 90 but that takes five more adventure ranks Maybe we hold off. See, then these two are about to rock us. Oh, she hits hard. This is just not efficient. You picked the wrong fight. Sex Morgan probably have a lot of resistance. Yeah. I don't know. Our damage is about par to where I expect it to be. Um, one thing that hurts a little bit is not having uh, Os Osa. But really, that just staggers them and does a little bit extra damage. It's not the end of the world. It's not the reason that this sucks. I am the cutting edge of fashion. There's a minute left. So actually, these two are a bit easier because they're staggerable. As long as you can focus attacks, she's not doing much. Like keeping them staggered means that it's way it's way easier, but it's still difficult. All right, give me something worth it. I already have a flower. Okay, that's kind of a perfect piece. Oh well, well, well. 
Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's look at something. Those are pretty nice. That's a high crit damage. Uh, we have quite a bit of shit that we can level this stuff up with. I would like realistically to get a four set going because we'll get that elemental skill damage plus 20, 25%. So it might actually be worth it to level this crit circlet and something else. Oh, maybe physical? Maybe physical? The problem is that we will lose that 12% crit rate from the Berserker. Oh, both of those are HP. <sighs> physical we're doing a lot of normal attacks let's see what it what it, what what, it, what we get attack defense I was hoping for a crit rate What do you got? Mm. I would be happy with a defense if it was a defense percent. Okay, ER. I'll take it. Mm. I'll take attack. Give me give me the rest in crit. Motherfucker. Come on. Hmm. Give me a high roll. High, high roll in crit. Uh, nope. Okay. That's fine. We'll feed it to something else. I could try rolling that one. Because really, besides that defense percent, it's not a particularly fantastic piece. But those those other stats suck. That's probably not even worth it. Probably not worth it. Let's see. We just unlocked it. We, we just unlocked the strong box. Let's throw some pieces in there. I think the only other two piece that would be worth anything would be archaic. I might hold on to that. I might hold on to that. Useless. Garbage. Trash. Trash. Garbage. Nothing. 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 Nope. Goodbye. Farewell. Whew. Alright, let's see if we get lucky. Okay. Ayo. Ayo. Whew. 
Oh, you piece of shit. I don't need a feather. What's that? What's that? Attack? With some crit? Maybe. Fucking maybe. Give me a crit circlet. Give me a crit circlet. Please? 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 Shit. Garbage. Okay. Attack is actually okay. We'll take attack. Until we can get a Geo Goblet. If this rolls into crit rate, it's a win. Sure, whatever. Oh, you... Mm-hmm. piece of shit. Oh, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. <sighs> oh, I don't know if that's worth it. We'll check this one. We'll just check it out. What if... What if the rest of it rolled into crit damage? That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. That'd be nutty. Ah! Oh! Oh! Everything but! Ooh. Mm, this game really loves ER. I know! And honestly, I think we could use a little bit of ER. Like, I'm not against ER. Um. All right, our, our build has not progressed. <laughs> our build has not progressed. Okay, but what if? Big crit roll, mother, wow, whole, wow, wow. 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 <laughs> hmm. And that's such a pointless piece. Besides having one roll into crit. Affected by cryo for 40% less time. Who gives a shit? Maybe. No, that's not worth it. I'm just concerned about losing that 12% crit rate from the Berserk. So we're only at 60, and none of those pieces replace that 12% loss. Because if anything, we'd be, we'd be even further away. We'd lose, we'd lose so much crit. It's not worth it. Ah! Okay. We've got Yeah, one more from Daily Resin. Let's go spend it. Defense. 
and healing. Attack. An attack crit. I don't really want to burn an adeptus. Those are exactly the same. Let's just use one of these. Increase an in attack and 8% crit rate. Let's see if it helps. Let's go, Tomato. Don't totally feel it. But it is there. And as long as we don't die. Uh, they're going down faster. Next customer. It is okay, it's noticed. Attack hurts. She's a Beyblade. Why does the Beyblade mommy hurt so much? Holy fuck. That's another issue. She's going to be going through healing food. Man. Lend me a hand. I am the cutting edge of fashion. Stop attacking me. Oh shit. Oh, his machine gun hurts. Okay. Let's go, Tomato. We're doing we are doing more damage, but this is a little bit more difficult. Because in that first round I was able to group them better and keep her staggered. Which I'm not able to do as well, but now we can. Stagger. Stagger. Nope. Not actually. Stagger. I am the cutting edge of fashion. Okay. You picked Ooh. the wrong fight. Yeah. Huh. All right. Crit rate circlet, please. Go and um, gilded troop. Yeah. Great. Uh huh. HP. Attack with... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Wow.
fuck that site is. Holy shit. Hoya oh, yeah, Lab. That's fine. I was hoping for a calculator, but I will... I'll look at the table. I want to see how much... Oh, wow. Okay, so... From 45 to 46 is 15. And it goes 16, 17, 18, 19... Which means, let me get the actual calculator out. 15 plus 16 plus 17 plus 18 plus 19. 80, uh, roughly 85,000 XP. To get to AR-50. Which, that's not even the huge jump. Man, I did not realize that huge, that, it's 54, it's, it's at 55 when it's, at, when it's that massive jump up in the XP needed. It's crazy. You forgot to th <laughs> Yep, that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like normally. I haven't even hit 60 on my main account. I'm close, though. It'll be within, like, a month or two. Hmm... If you really like standing around like this, then why don't you just model for me? I'll design some wonderful clothes for you. Man. So it's it's doable. It's doable. It just it sucks. Is what it does. What is that? Oh my gosh. What a fantastic electro goblet. Have I even frickin' got a single geo damage bonus this whole time? One that's blue. Wow. This whole fucking time. I've not gotten a geo damage bonus in anything purple. And shit, that might be okay. Then I would need a second piece. When you have strong fair characters, don't forget. It's like being weak at low level. Yeah. Me too, honestly. I mean, you know, as well as the added challenge of only having one character. Because I would think that normally, once you hit 45 and you start, uh, And you start artifact farming. You got, you got, a, you got a, 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 at least one team of four that should be able to do it. Like, even if it is a bit of a challenge, like it'll take you, like, I mean, what, 
at most a minute. I don't want a feather. Yeah, fuck it. <sighs> Alright. I think we should actually probably stop doing that. <laughs> Sure is the main DPS, yeah. Let's spend one. As much as I would love to just make the big number of resin go up, and as satisfying as that would be, let's do them one at a time. food buff wore off. That's fine. I don't think it made that huge of a difference. Okay, what is it? When characters covers lose HP, all your members crit damage increase 7% for 10 seconds. This effect can be triggered once every 0.1 seconds. Max 10 stacks. Each stacks around is counted independently. <clears throat> Depends on what four star effects you get. We'll probably start a new account. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I, I want gold artifacts, but if I have to sub in a new purple artifact. I'm not totally against it. Like, if I get a a Geo bonus purple artifact, I'm leveling it. Let's go, Tomato. And if I can get one more purple golden troop to make a force set, then I'll do it. I do worry about losing the, the crit rate from Berserk and the Berserker set, though. So I do have to think about that. Not only should it be some type of upgrade, it needs to have a crit rate equal to or greater than what I currently have. True. That's what I do on my main account. I have I have a, a, a variety of really good rainbow artifacts that I, I anytime I get a new DPS, like I did it with Navia, uh, and like you were talking about Navia for the first like month or two, my Navia had a rainbow set. She had 80 crit rate and 200 plus crit damage with it. And she's fucking slayed. The only problem right now with running any sort of rainbow artifacts Let's go, tomato. is actually more so the main stats. <laughs> I'm not going to sub in some random <laughs> elemental mastery piece. <laughs> yeah. 
shit, 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 shit. Fuck, I got stuck. I got trapped. <laughs> uh. Next customer. Oh, Beyblade, Beyblade. I bet she I bet Arlequino will be able to run a, a variety of different sets. Um, I mean, obviously she has a, a new set that's her uh, going to be her best in slot. But I also imagine that it's not going to matter too terribly much. Yeah. Delicate as silk. I hadn't watched it. It does look like that we're gonna get a bunch of her story in the next patch. Seconds. Come on. Come on. Yep. A little bit more. Come on. Come on. Yar. Oh, it's just, it's five minutes and 26 seconds. It's just not efficient. That's the only problem. Okay. 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 You gave up on eighty pity for our, for Akron Idolon. That sucks. Yeah, you get Aventurian, and he's gonna be good. Aventurian's gonna be good on in Akron teams, I think. seen Alakina's weapon passive. You're not a fan of weapons that only have one character that's really good on. Yeah, that sucks if that's the case. Um, not surprised since it's like the, fir it, yeah. the first weapon having an exclusive character exclusive uh, look. Also being the a weapon that's only really good on on that character is not terribly surprising. You can't use her full potential because you need sustain. <clears throat> yeah, and I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do to make. Um, healers more effective, at least for like super in game stuff. With adventuring, you bring a well, black swan, yeah. Pela and black swan would probably be best. I don't know about, I mean, you can use whelp for, for his, his manipulation for his turn manipulation. But he wouldn't really be adding debuffs, I don't think. Yeah. I like this. The scythe is cool. Um, I appreciate what they started to do with Navia, and that they're continuing to do it with her, with Arlequino. Uh, is that they're taking 
the arch the weapon archetypes that they've come up with, but uh, changing it, changing it up, which is massively appreciated because it's gotten a little bit boring that characters are so locked in to uh, to their type of weapon. Mm. Just give me another crit. Just give me another crit. Dude, uh, Trinity Universal Market would be good on Fire MC. That's true. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Crit rate, crit rate, crit rate. Let's go! It's a low roll, but I'll take it. Six once. Oof. That's a drop. Let's take that. Let's put, let's level this up. Uh, where'd that go? came home in E1 Akron's place. I, I like Welt. He's good. I my, my build for Welt is not very good. I need to give him more love. Since you also have a signature. Oh, that helps bot a lot as well, probably. I don't have a signature. That's why I love Jade Cutter. I'd love to have the Jade Cutter in my main account. Okay, I think I was, I don't know if it got answered last stream, but I was uh, trying to figure out, does Broken Keel stack? Because I run Broken Keel on almost all my supports, or at least uh, three of them have Broken Keel. Uh, and I'm going to put, I'm going to put it on Adventuring. It does stack? Holy shit. Then yeah, that's like the best planar orb set. All right. We're on a copium four piece set. We have lost some crit rate and crit damage, but let's see if it works out. If not, we can go back. That's pretty good. Gallagher actually seems pretty decent. Hold on. I'm going to grab my water. Oh, shit. I didn't. I, I, oh. Hold on. I'm getting, getting ahead of myself here. I need to build my Pela. Pela is one of those characters that is like maintained uh, being a, a, a solid character. And I feel like <clears throat> with this recent wave of Nihility characters that they've been pumping out, she's just continued to stay relevant. As E2 goes is what gives a cleanse. That sucks. I 
Are people pull, pulling for adventure right now? I mean, I guess they are if there's out on Asia servers. I think we've still got probably quite a few hours. Um, here in North America. Which is kind of, it's kind of a blessing and a curse. That we're, uh, that we get it behind. Ten poles left, I'm on guarantee, because, well, nice. So you'll get them. Ten hours. I'm probably not going to stream for 10 hours, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, uh, but I was saying it's kind of a blessing and a curse because we get to actually, we, we get the, the Asia bros to test the character out. You picked the wrong uh, fight. And then we get to see before we get tempted into pulling if they're if the character is good but we also have to watch all the asia bros have fun with the new character and we're just sitting here twiddling our thumbs his signature is underwhelming yeah i think any sort of signature light cone, or even even weapons in, in Genshin, uh, I would only ever recommend getting it if it's for a DPS character. I think it's the only time it matters. Any sort of support, or even a sub DPS, there's gonna be some four star, or three star, that's totally fine. Even his Eidolons don't look very good. I am the cutting edge of fashion. That's that's a smart way of doing it, waiting for the live stream. Bay blade. corner. This is good. That's not good. That's bad. Woo. Day one of my new life. S4 is much better. Better than his signature? Trend of the Universal Market is what I'm going to be running for Akron. My only issue with it is that 
with Train of the Universal Market is it requires that character to be attacked. Um, and as far as I know, he does not have any sort of taunt. I think the only taunting character really Time to teach you is Fire MC. I could be wrong. Oh my gosh, I'm about to die. Um, but it's still probably better because he will get a hit eventually and so it's better than nothing. And I do think that for higher end content, like uh, the two, two simulated universe modes, that uh, adventuring is going to outperform Fushuan. Thank God preservation units have a lot of aggro value. Is that is that actually a system in the game? Because if so, they need to turn it down for Tingyin. <laughs> or any harmony. Ooh. It is? Okay, interesting. It must be a hidden it, it must be a hidden value. HP. <gasps> That's why you put preservation on the edge. Oh. True. That's uh that's a spicy feather. I'm sure it'll roll great. Okay. That's fine. I don't need the EM. I'm gonna shut up. I'm just not gonna say anything. Not a single fucking one. Not a single roll into crit. What is this? Is that an upgrade? 13.2 versus... 6, 7, 14. Technically an upgrade. That is technically an upgrade. as technically an upgrade by by one cv point and higher attack we've got a bit more attack which is which is actually useful these are two dead stats if you consider the attack and it's it's actually it's it's almost one it's basically one point cv higher it's a, it's a cope upgrade. But we'll take it. I mean, how was it was I supposed to do not not roll that piece? I mean, like, come on. <laughs> That's a mean piece right there gets attack percent. Yeah. You know, is is if, if if you only roll god artifacts, eventually one of them is going to roll well. Right? Like, it's just probability. Lend me a hand. 
who, who do you have the 30 over 30 percent attack piece on because that would be sick for like shinha let's go tomato You had Shinha, yeah. <clears throat> I, I imagine most people don't actually have Shinha. She's a very niche character. Let's go, Tomato. I am the cutting edge of fashion. I really enjoyed building my Shinha, though, just because it was so simple. figured it was going to be at the start of the second half so we would get that uh, 16 Stellar Jade. But I, I, I couldn't find the actual date for it. I, I was looking earlier. Let's go, Tomato. Delicate as silk. Nilu's great. I love my Nilu. On the Haunt Star Rail anniversary. We are already at the anniversary? I mean, I knew that that's what this patch was. But that's still like a mind blowing thing. It's been a whole ass year. I had a normal job back then. Well, I say that it was it was never a normal job, but it was you know a respectable one. <laughs> yeah. Anniversary is in nine days. Okay. So I guess if uh, if you're one ten pull away from. Adventuring or Jing Liu, then you know, just wait nine days. Lend me a hand. And I'll be honest, unpopular opinion. I think it's good that they spread out the free pulls. <laughs> because otherwise my ass would have pulled. They forced us to have self-control. Yeah. Oh, shit. If you have Kakami, I will see two Nihita. Yeah, the best one to have in the game of Nilu. Yeah, I don't. I don't have Nahida, and don't ever plan on pulling for Nahida. Um, but she would make my Nilu Bloom team insane. I do recognize you that. The ah! wrong I just don't like playing as a small character. Let's go, Tomato. Sources yesterday. And I need a temple. I'll skip you. Well, then there you go. Lend me a hand. That's perfect. Are you 
done. Oh. Sway versus extremely lenient. Yeah, that's, that's one way of putting it. That's one way of putting it. All right, give me something good. Please, please, play your verse, please. Give good, give good artifact. I don't need another flower. Oh, come on. Come on. That's like ideal, kind of. It's a low roll, but. <clears throat> I just, uh, personally, I just, yeah, uh, I don't like the limited, uh, camera. Like, it brings you further down, and you don't, you can't, like, it's, it feels like you can't pull out as far. I don't know. Maybe it's a, maybe it's not really that bad, and I'm just being pedantic. Um. I don't know. Nahida is fucking cracked, though. Like, holy shit. Yeah. Um. I swear, I don't know what it is, and I'm I'm not like conspiracy theorist or anything, and I don't think that they're actually doing this. Um, but if I, I've gotten a lot of earlies uh, in Star Rail as well, I feel like the numbers are a bit more juiced in Star Rail. <laughs> it's probably not true at all. Um, it just feels it's like up it. It's to me to decide who I want to be, and to cut. Because I've gotten several earlies as well. My own path. No one. Imagine summoning for a DPS. You have a chump cancel to get their best damage. There's no way to fix even through cons. Like Hu Tao if she didn't have her C1. Is there a character like that? Klee? Dude, I forget Klee exists. <laughs> like, as a playable character. She's, she's just that, that funny... NPC to me. <laughs> That's crazy. They they were not they didn't know what the fuck they were doing with early characters. I don't think they're ever gonna give that the Archons. Let's go, Tomato. When 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 they give the Archons skins is when Hoyaverse finally starts losing money. Delicate as silk. You picked the wrong fight. Next customer. Or it'll be some shit that they pull with Celestia when we, whenever we, if, if we end up going to Celestia after Snoznaya, it'll be, it'll be some, it'll, it'll be like somehow story related or something. And they'll like release them all, each one uh, patch apart or something like that. 
And there'll be five stars. Like, Deluxe. Let's go, Tomato. So they'll be like, whatever, $30. It's one of those two options, is my bet. I am the cutting edge of fashion. I'm just I'm shocked that we haven't had and they haven't done any other five star skin. Let's go, Tomato. That's why. I, that's why I think it's like Hoyo versus like. Uh oh, we're 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 not making money. Like emergent emergency fight. button. Uh, because you know that when they release that skin, it's gonna be the highest grossing skin ever. Um. Did did should I get the Rosario treatment? I feel like it doesn't even matter. She's got so many other assets. I am the cutting edge of fashion. Oh, also, did y'all see that Acheron is now the highest grossing character for Hoyoverse ever? I don't know if it's if it's ever, but it beat out Yolan. Which is honestly like not surprising at all. I don't know if someone can can correct me on what the actual article was. Delicate as silk. Which, to be honest, I was shocked that it, the highest so far was Yulon's first run. I don't know anything about League of Legends. Um, I do know that those skins make a lot of money. So, I'm, so that is, I feel like that is probably saying something. Ooh, 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 what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got two, nothing, and nothing. Sick. I think that the, the Yalan banner haven't been so good makes a lot of sense for a couple of reasons. Um, she's the coolest incarnation of Raiden May, in my opinion. I wish she had horns. I wish she had her horns. They showed it in a, in a split second that she used to have horns. Um, and I need a high resolution version of that uh, for wallpaper. Um, do y'all remember, okay, but let's continue about Yulon. Do y'all remember, it felt like, and maybe this happens every time, there's always, like, doom posting about any new character. Uh, I showed in her character teaser. 
Yeah, they also showed it in the story, which is where I noticed it. I hadn't. I, don't, I always forget to watch the the, the YouTube videos. Um, there was. I feel like there was a ton of Doom posting around Yulan before she came out, which made me think that maybe she didn't make as much money. You have to use scissors to cut clothes. But then that was also probably counteracted by uh, the Ayaka Forever banner before it. Leave those rigid rules behind. I much prefer using my but, own cutting tools. I don't know. There's always Doom posting for like every character. All right. I'm gonna make it two. We're gonna do this twice. We're gonna do this two more times, and then and then something else maybe. Yeah. Not... <laughs> I don't want to hear from Megadoom but I was, I was I was there for Kazuha. I was not there for Ganyu. I do remember the Kazuha. I also remember uh, the Yaimiko, which was the first time... Yaimiko was the first time that the community convinced me not to pull for a character I really liked, and I fucking regretted it. You think her horns are what reforged her blade? Oh, that's cool. His blade origin broke when it struck the end. Huh. I need to go through and watch a lot of those uh, YouTube videos. Sick of shit. I love that stuff. Oh god. Oh, give me that. At least Ganyu is thought to be a cryo amber. And we didn't realize Ganyu can serve on us. Yeah, I love Ganyu. Um, they need they they need to chill out. With that. Especially like leave Amber alone, damn. Cause I feel like they did the same shit with Yoimiya. They were like, oh, she's just a five star Amber. And it's like, mm, but not really. Or like Yulan is is Yulan's just a five star sing show. Like kind of, but she's actually way better. Like way, way, way better. That would be that would be that would be interesting to go through all of all of the like that shit. Every time that the Genshin community were a bunch of idiots. Are you done? Yeah, I do think that the Kokomi thing was partially Hoyoverse's fault for giving her that negative 100 crit, which is just crazy. Like, understandably, the community was an idiot for that because healers are, are valuable. But like, why did they have to give her negative 100 crit? Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Are they terrified of people building a DPS healer? I just, I don't understand it. Stop shooting me! I am the cutting edge of fashion! If she didn't have the knife crate, she'd probably be one of the best DPS. Yeah. I mean, you can, I, you can kind of run her as a DPS, or at least you can run her on field. I do that. Oh, shit. This one is not going well. Imagine a DPS can heal, face tank, heal everyone with their burst. Then got a set design for her. I mean, yeah. I mean, my, my thing is... Is why the hell does Hoyoverse care so much? Oh, garbage. Oh my god, stop with this. Stop with this shit. Stop with this nonsense. This is, this is stupid. Um... I feel like Hoyoverse cares way too much about balancing the meta in this game. And I don't mean, like, power creep or anything like that, but, like, there's no PvP. The game is easy. And even if you release a character that you, that they, that they, like, balanced or whatever or like reduced their shit players are gonna find a way to fucking make that character face roll every con all the content like it, it literally doesn't matter i already already have made that tonight And maybe we'll see an Acheron in Genshin. Because that's what Acheron feels like, is that they were just like, you know, we thought about making her balanced. And then we said, fuck it. What if she nuked a million damage every time? <laughs> Yeah, 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 exactly. <clears throat> we don't need balanced characters when Nuvalet can fucking spin to win everything. Next customer, grab the Get her. No, but but Kokomi needs huh. negative crit, or else the game would just be broken. <laughs> like fucking what? She's a ride next XP. Oh, yeah. That's definitely one of the reasons. It's like their... It's like Poyo versus original character. Back with the, their very first game. So, it's not surprising. Yeah, I've got her like kind of... It's nice. Delicate as silk. Lend me a hand. You picked the wrong Damn. fight. Also, <laughs> I also have a C2 riding. <laughs> I can attest to that. 
Can they just dislike Kagami? Imagine ignoring I, I, I don't have to imagine it. I'm glad they put it on her C2. I hate, I hate that Yaimiko's is on her C6 though. It makes me want to C6 my Yaimiko. Well, yeah, there are, there is also skins in Honkai, um, but yes, every, uh, every variation is, is its own character to represent their, like, story growth of the Valkyrie battle suit or whatever. Going through these sweet madams. I am the cutting edge of fashion. Lend me a hand. New Nihility character makes sure that I grind. It's also multi target consideration. I mean, that's kind of Black Swan. Yeah, we have Black Swan. And she has, I think she, I mean, they work well together. I'm sure that they could come up with someone that's better. Um, but right now, Black Swan is fantastic. Delicate as silk. Well, uh, yeah, I, I just transitioned my dot team into an Acheron team. Next customer. Which makes me wish that I could have a dot team and an Acheron team. Which probably I could do that at some point in the future. But, dude, what... Uh, I mean, basically, uh, if they make a five-star Pela, I mean, that would do it. Just any sort of five-star debuffer. Yeah, well, some of you she can add one stack per Arcana proc. So you didn't do that because you like Dot too much. Yeah. I understand that. Yo, oh, brother. Garbage. Yes. This is like the third or fourth flower in a row that's been crit at the top on a three liner. That's crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> I think that's kind of the... It seems like, at least for, like, what Hoyoverse wants in-game to look like is that you have one fully, fully optimized team for every type of damage. 
Um, yeah, it'd be good for somebody else, but not for Shiori, unfortunately. Um, which is, uh, yeah, it'd be fantastic for literally anyone else. <laughs> um, like, look at these two. Just a little, little pair of, pair of pretty flowers. All four, no, I was not even kidding. Crit at the top, crit at the top, crit at the top. That's crazy. I swear if I ever say that in another stream, someone says, just get E2. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna complete. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna try to never pull for Acheron's Eidolons. Keyword: try. It is scummy how they do that, though. Not a super huge upgrade. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Let's see if this one does anything. Mm. Son of a bitch. All right. Let's see. We're going to lose quite a bit of defense with that, but... We'll get a little bit of crit. We'll just get a little bit more crit. Oof. That defense went down. But higher crit. <clears throat> Dude. Pulling characters is like one level of Gamba dopamine hit that's like very nice and fun and I enjoy it. Um, but rolling artifacts is the real, it's the real shit. It's, it's, it's the, 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 the main line straight into my veins dopamine. <laughs> what was that? Could, could you peek? Give me just a little crit. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening, Genshin. No. No, all right, I'm gonna stop with that one. Weapon banner. Oof. Exactly. Fucking weapon banner. No oh, wait. Let's save it up for Acherons. Eidolons. Yeah.
I think it would be it would have been so much better if they just swapped her 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 E1 and E2. Cuz it's literally just a, a a flexibility thing. It should hit different use artifact is rolling paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah you know you gotta i got them artifact papers yo she oh, sprinkle on a little 50 50. speaking of ease gotta go buy me a star real fast realistically that's the only kind of that's the only money that you should ever spend. Is the Welkin stuff. Everything else is stupid. And not worth it. I'm going to be holding out for uh, a Yai Sakura slash Yai Miko XP in Star Rail. That, and if they ever release Sam. If they release Sam, whoo. Let's go, Tomato. Drop this color. Get her. Oh. And you know what? I bet they might make Yai XP. Uh, the character that you were talking about of, of being a perfect fit with Acheron. <laughs> you take off your free-to-play crown. It's really not that big of a deal. Sprinkle on some of that 50-50 with a pinch of god rolls of artifacts. Woo! Smoking that good, good. I am the cutting edge of fashion. What well, would be Dracula flow if it was written by a fucking Genshin addict? I'm smoking that guarantee. Smoking that intertwined fates. I wish I could be creative with my words, like fucking Dracula flow. That shit's so good. Gotcha, you can see the game of depression. Artifact left. <clears throat> it's a roller coaster, that's for sure. <laughs> That's one thing. I if if ZZZ has it's like same shit, but like whatever they call it. Uh, I I never I never saw anything from the betas on ZZZ, so I don't actually know. But if it has an artifact system that is just as punishing, I'm gonna fucking drop that game unless it's like. Literally the best thing ever. I'll still play it. Don't get me wrong. I'm gonna play ZZZ when it comes out. But I can I don't think I can handle a third game with an artifact grind. And I don't think that Hoyoverse realizes like how damaging that could be. 
for its its general audience. Give me that god roll. Anything that's not a flower. Oh my god. Uh. Uh. At least it wasn't a flower. Or a feather. For real, for real this time, these are going to be the last two. I know I said that 30 minutes ago, <laughs> um, but I mean it for real this time. I'm not going to be able to complete the battle pass. Oh, no. That's weird. Drop the color. Get her. Too. We're going to use one of these just to make it a little bit faster. I am the cutting edge of fashion. Taking a sip of water. Delicate as silk. Should be good. Lend me a hand. Delicate. 
it as silk. Are we not doing it again? Just the one time? Okay. I thought usually she did it two or three times. Actually, Scatter. now with Adeptus Temptation feels markedly faster. Because before we were doing it at 30 seconds left, and now we've almost at, at a minute 30 left, basically. Uh, I mean, sure. Yeah, one second. Hmm. Eh. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, let me take a look. I assume you're probably, like, building her normally. Okay. Well, initially, I have to say, um, why do you have a hydro damage bonus on her? <laughs> um, is that like just a placeholder? Um, are you running some sort of Candace Hydro Infusion team that I'm not aware of? You level up your Wolf Fang as well. Substats? Okay, but that... That Hydro damage is... I mean, yeah, you got some nice crit damage on that, but... That could be defense. Or even attack. And that would help you out more than... Uh, because Hydro damage bonus isn't doing you anything. The rest of your artifacts look pretty good. <laughs> Get a new feather. And... Mm. The defense looks good. Attack. Yeah, level up your weapon. If you're still rocking the, the wolf fang on it, it's level 40. You need that leveled up. Um... Yeah, swap out that goblet. And that'll help huge. Your crit ratio looks pretty good. You could do it for a little bit more crit rate. What is what is the wolf fang? What is its stat? Oh, it's crit rate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, level up your uh, wolf fang. And that'll be good for your crit. Weapon just got yesterday? Okay, so, you, all right, sure. You, you know about it. Okay. 
But yeah, you're looking good. You could probably squeak out a little bit more damage or uh, defense. Um, and while the attack isn't like she's she's a she's not she doesn't split scale. She's a dual scaler, so any attack is not a loss, but the priority should be defense. Um, defense and then attack. Um, both are good, but one is slightly better. So yeah, you could do for a little bit more defense, which I think, but just swap out that hydro goblet and you're golden. That's my advice. If you really like standing around like this, and I know that that that, that crit that crit value is going to be tough to replace, and that's going to hurt, but it's not entirely about crit. I know I know it feels good to have the crit, but if you don't have the the scaling number, uh, it doesn't matter, you know. Oh, that's a different sword. Yeah, attack is still valuable. Um... So you want both. It's just that the defense... You get you get a little bit more out of defense on all of her stuff. Um, normal attack does not dual scale, uh, as I don't I don't think normal attack dual scales on any character. I could be wrong, but it's gonna be her E and Q, and then obviously her E is priority. Um, And what, uh, why do you bring up the, uh, that weapon? Sorry, I'm not, I'm not super familiar with it. Unless it's the one. Oh, that sword? The, the Kazuha story sword? Yeah, it's free, which is nice. I don't know who it's like best, and I think you'd probably be better off with the wolf fang. Cause realistically, uh, who are you? Are you playing? How are you playing, Shiori? Like, are you, are you using her as a support for another Geo character? Um, if that's the case, then it doesn't matter. You're not going to be doing normal attacks. Are you doing her as a DPS? Uh, then, I mean, it's something you could look at. You could try it. I am the cutting edge of fashion. A better weapon would probably be a defense scale than the attack. Keep, keep with the wolf fang. Level it up. I think you'll like it. Lend me a hand. Just started two months ago. Yeah. 
she's a real fun character. And uh, I see you have a, a Ningguang. Uh, I assume you're using Ningguang to buff Shiori, uh, which is good. Because Ningguang's uh, screen will give you an attack buff. Use Geo Traveler. I'm not familiar with what Geo Traveler does, to be honest. You might you might consider trying out your Ningguang, especially since she's C6. You can look up some hyper carry uh, team comps, and I think that they uh, include Ningguang as a buffer for Chiori. I think Ningguang gets gets uh, slept on. Yeah, overall you're doing good with your build. Just change those few little things and you'll be golden. Just the last one. Delicate as silk. If you're running as a DPS, Golden Troop. But Husk isn't bad. Um. So you, you, you might consider farming some golden troop. Um, and if you've only been playing for two months, then it's not like a huge... Um, huge issue to, uh, to swap over. Defense plus 30. Three packs and carry spike fall and additions on the field. The character gains one stack of hitting point with geo attacks. Trigger maximums. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. I don't know who they intended that sword for. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I agree. You keep keep the wolf fang. Um Cross Troy Bennett, Geo Traveler. What? Dendro damage for real? I don't know if Sucrose is doing much. Uh, 
I, su I mean, yeah, I, I, do, I would think it would be for Kazuha. Um, well, you could be getting Pyro Swirls for, for Sucrose. I just don't know if she's doing anything for Geo. It's tough to build around Geo. Um, do you have any other Geo characters? I would swap in... Um, I would swap in Ningguang. It's just luck. It's, it's just luck. There's been a couple of, uh, of ones where I haven't gotten any golden troop. Oh, that too. Yeah, use condensed resin because you'll get double drops for one run. Yeah, that's how it goes. That's how it goes, to be honest. Weapon banner sucks. Yeah. So for your team, I would suggest swapping in Ningguang. Either for Sucrose, either swap, replace Sucrose with Ningguang or Geo Traveler with Ningguang. Um, keep Bennett. Because otherwise, the, the the other team that you would want to run would be like a Mono Geo. But I'm going to take a wild guess and say that you don't have some of the other Geo characters. But in an upcoming event, you'll be able to get a free Goro. And Goro can be... Uh, grows a good uh, geo support and so you can use him and you can slowly build towards a mono geo comp to support Chiori um, which is what I would recommend and then eventually you can take Bennett and Sucrose off of that team to build a secondary team uh, where you, you hypothetically ride, ride national uh, oh, you do have Goro. Then perfect. You can build up your Goro. Oh, I see. You, you pulled Redhorn. <laughs> well... You can pull Ito when he has, uh, got your own lamp. Oh, nice. 
Congrats. Um, since you have Redhorn and you have Chiori, whenever Ito has a rerun, pull for Ito. If you want, I'm not telling you what to do. But you already have his weapon and you have Chiori who would synergize with him. And Ito is pretty fun, unga bunga character. That would just be the f for the future. Something to consider. All right, we've got 50 left. I'm going to call it on the artifact grind for right now. Technically, technically we made progress. And I do wonder, would this... be any sort of upgrade. Oh, yes. Come on, baby. Yeah. we got crit 10 crit there which we don't have here and that's all pretty much trash so that's still better and that being defense is an upgrade from that piece technically it's a 16 16 CV versus 15 Sixty one, sixty seven. Normal attack or burst for Chiori. Focus on her. Uh, on her skill first. It'll, 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 this little button right here will, will show you priorities. So. First focus on leveling up her skill. Then you can focus on her ultimate and then normal attacks. And look, that, that's going to take you a while. So, like, it's fine. Because at, at, at that point, past level 6, it's reliant on boss drops. On the weekly boss drops. Um, so you don't have to worry about it too, too much. You'll eventually get there. One more opponent. Yes! I am the cutting edge of fashion. Good luck with your farming. Well, let's go, Tomato. I'd be curious to see an update at some point. All 
right. Even though we technically went down with our with our total CV, we're actually doing better damage. Not by a whole lot, but it is an improvement. It's not so much the rain that bothers me, but the mud. It's always such a pain to... Okay. I still got a little bit. That's a little bit. We'll leave it. It's fine. <laughs> Did I do this bar? No. It reset. We might, we might hop over and do that real quick. We'll do that before uh, swapping over to Star Rail. Um, but one second, I'm gonna go boil some water for some tea, and uh, go to the bathroom. Then we'll uh, we'll hit the spiral bus real quick.
Okay. All right. Let's uh, switch over. I think I already did dailies. Yeah. I didn't do too well last last time. <laughs> I don't usually get particularly sweaty with the spiral of this. I just run it once when it resets and I get what I get. I do need to improve my second team, if I'm being honest. Okay. Ba -ba -ba. Wait, I almost fucked up. And honestly, I need another hydro unit, which is crazy. I could probably build Mona. I need, I need, I've been running the aggravate team and it's okay. Probably mostly because Carrara is not fully built and it kind of does okay it struggles if i could bring back a nilu bloom for this for for it, it'd be good or something else i don't know this is what i've been running it doesn't matter in the early floors uh. Emerge right now, Another right here. A sight to behold. Emerge right here, right now. The deck you were seeing. Seems test like an emergency. Speed of light. Hey! It's the wrong test With sword from the shadow. Uh, Coming through. Sign here, please. Right here, right now. Emerge. A bitter pill to swallow. Taking a turn for the better. Don't blink. Ah, nowhere to hide. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yoo-hoo! Let my name echo in song! Game's up. Fun silver. Gotcha. So this, t this team took my Kokomi away from Nilu Bloom, but I've just had so much fun with the Hydro team that, I don't know. Uh, you know what, let's do that, that's fine. A little bit of defense. Right now, right here. Nothing lasts forever. Right now, emerge. Mind the side effects. A bitter pill to swallow. Speed of light. Huh? <laughs> that, that. Head to the chase. 
right now, right here. The deck you will see. <laughs> Seems Another like an emergency. My incoming. <sighs> Nowhere to hide. Coming through. Service with a smile. Emerge right now. So you're not worth it. Ugh. There is no escape. Shower me with praise. Time to shine. Things are about to get dicey. Busted. Gotcha. Covenant of the deep. <laughs> Sure, why not? Some crit damage. Emerge. Right now. Emerge. I'm always watching. <laughs> oh no. Right now. Right here. A bitter pill to swallow. Mind the side effect. Cut to the chase. Yeah. I should have waited on that. Can you not get it? There it is. Emerge. Right here. The Dacto is seen. Taking a turn for the better. Speed of light. <sighs> Come here, you. With sword comes shadow. Emerge right now. Nothing lasts forever. Right here. Right now. Right here. <clears throat> Here comes the catch. Oh. Allow me. Torrent, bring her up here. Yeah. The team just shreds so fucking hard. It's crazy. Let's see what we get. Garbage. Yeah, we'll be able to put a few wishes into Kazuha's banner. Doubt we'll get them, but you never know. I, I, I would love for them to change up this. It's just an annoying... It's just an annoying... Chamber, like, literally, I don't even, like... The fish apps are fine. It's just this amalgamation of every element. I know it's not ideal, but... Meh. I'm always watching. Right now, right here, right now. Mind the side effects. Seems like an emergency. Hey! Time to shine! Game's up. Time's over. Quietly now. Sure, energy recharge. Right here, emerge right now. Don't blink. Nowhere to hide. Right here, please. Right here, emerge right now. A sight to behold. Oh, wrong button. Right here. Emerge. Right here. <laughs> Top. Top. The doctor was seen. Taking a turn for the better. You know, both 
Electro. That sucks. Always watching. Emerge right now. Mind the side effects. Remember, health comes first. Okay. Illusion shut. Let the world collide. There we go. Humans are about to get dicey. Elemental skill damage. Yeah. Right here, Your journey right ends here. Lord A of bit of hell to swallow. Your sacrifice is ready. Don't blink. <sighs> Nowhere to hide. Oh. Right here, please. Right here. Right now. <laughs> Nothing lasts forever. Hand it to the ground. The doctor will see you now. Mind the side effects. Seems like an emergency. Incoming. Yeah. There we go. Oh, you motherfuckers. Strike a pose. Bust it. Don't have my energy. Escape. Inazuma shines eternal. Time to shine. Game's up. Time's over. I wanted to get a little bit of healing, but okay. That's fine. Oh, I guess that was the last one, so it doesn't matter. Sick. Oh, I was talking about them needing to get rid of that, and they go and make a second one. Hmm. Oh, well, that tells me what to do. I hate, th I hate that. I hate this. I hate this one so much. I hate this one so fucking much. Oh my god. Let's keep at it. See if we'll make it. One of those is good for one team, and one of them is good for the other. First team is lacking a little bit, so we'll give it to them. Emerge, right here, emerge. I'm always watching. Right now, emerge. The doctor will see you now. Taking a turn for the better, mind the... Let's cut to the chase. Right here, right now. <laughs> the doctor will see you. Don't blink. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> With sword comes shadow. Sign <laughs> here, please. Emerge. Right here. Mind the side effects. Seems like an emergency. A bitter pill to Speed of light. To the chase. A sight to behold. Emerge right here. The doctor will see you. Service with a smile. Coming through. Right here. 
right now. Emerge. Remember, health comes first. With sword comes shadow. Don't blink. Head back. Nothing lasts forever. Right now. Emerge. Right now. Mind the side effects. Incoming. Cut to the chase. Sign here, please. Emerge. Right here. Okay. Shine down. Let the world come alive. Things are about to get dicey. Gotcha. Quietly. Billowing surge. Hold the line. You shall perish. There is no escape. Let my name echo in song. Game's up. Fun is over. Ooh, character element burst damage plus twenty percent. Right now, right here, emerge. The doctor will see you now. Mind the side effects. I have, I have for not the better. fought these little dogs. Be the blight. <sighs> Nowhere to hide. Even in the overworld. They're just like anima, right? Oh, we got four of them? Right here, right now, emerge. A sight to behold. Right here, emerge. A bitter pill to swallow. Seems like an emergency. Don't uh, no, no. cut to the chase. Red delivery. Huh. Right now. The doctor will okay. see you. Mine. Speed of light. Hey. Nowhere to hide. Coming through. Service with a smile. Emerge right now, right here. I'm yeah, that's what I kind of figured. They're like the small version of that. Uh, however you say that. <laughs> shine down. Inazuma shines eternal. <laughs> oh no. Rusty rebuild. We're gonna get our. Energy back up. These are about to get dicey. Sure, you. You there you are. A brash maneuver. Allow me. Now you shall perish. There is no escape. Strike a pose. Let my name echo in song. Damn it. Here comes the catch. <laughs> okay, not bad. I actually do quite like the consecrated beasts. I think they're pretty fun. Well, we're just stacking the elemental burst. Mm -hmm. Emerge right now. Emerge. This is Remember, a fucking pain in the first. ass. Don't blink. Cut to the tape. Back, back. Sign here, please. Right here. Emerge. The doctor will see you. A bitter pill to swallow. With sword comes shadow. Right here, emerge. Right here, Perfect nothing grouping. lasts forever. Right now, right here, right now. The doctor was seen. Seems like an emergency. Don't blink. Cut to the chase. Red delivery. Emerge. Oh, 
It is one good thing about that team is the, the energy. Both of these teams have really good energy. Oh. Shine down. Realistically, my problem with this team is that the rotation... Oh no. Doesn't always Illusion fucking work. Torn to oblivion. Or like, I can't get through an entire rotation because it just kills them too fast. So then we end up with characters that don't have their energy up. Which creates some annoying situations like this. We have to scramble. It's like almost literally a suffering from success team. Uh, yeah. Oh, could have been good. Okay. <sighs> Fuck. This one's kind of tough. Especially, I I don't like this boss that forces you to plunge. Wait, is that the one that forces you to plunge, or is it this one? No, that's that's the one from Inazuma. That's the plunge. Is that the plunge one? Which one's the plunge one? Whatever. It's the one on Chamber 3? Okay, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe we get sweaty. Maybe we get sweaty. Mm, give me that EM. Right now, right here, right now. A sight to behold. Right here, right now. Emerge. Taking a turn for the better. A bitter pelt. Nowhere to hide. Coming through. Service with a smile. Right now, right here. Mind the side effects. Ah! Oh, brother. <laughs> Good. Cut to the chase. <laughs> Emerge. Nothing lasts forever. Right now. A bitter pill to swallow. Seems like an emergency. Mind the side effect. Back, back. Absolute. Nowhere to hide. Right here. Emerge. The doctor will see you now. No, we don't have it. Hey! Oh, shit. We all... Right here. Right now. I'm always watching. Emerge. Oh, for a second I thought her name was just Shnezhnaya. Remember, but it's Shnezhana. Shnezhna. And Anna. I guess her names make, kind of almost make Shnezhnaya together. Right here, mm -hmm. right now. Not great. Emerge. Get Nothing that. lasts forever. I warned you. Right here. 
mind the side effects. Seems Why do they like keep the healing up? Incoming. <sighs> Nowhere to hide. Coming through. Right now, emerge. Right here. The doctor was seen. Speed of light. Hey. With sword comes shadow. Did I scare you? That's that. Emerge. Right now. Emerge. I mean, I wouldn't put it. Put it past him. Taking a turn for the. Incoming. Poyoverse does has a char does have a character. Its name is Screlium from the planet Screlium. Right now, right here. The doctor will see you next. Speed of light. Nowhere to hide. Both of them. Sign here, please. Like this time could be so much better. Holy crap! Maybe we can make up for it here. I doubt it. Let the world collide! Quietly now. Here comes the catch. Gotcha. Nope. Inazuma shines eternal. Illusion shut. Good mining. Echoing song. Things are about to get dicey. Come here, where are you running? Rest and rebuild. Covenant of the deep. Eh. Eh. Match the HP. Why not? Whatever. Right here. A bitter pill to swallow. The doctor was <laughs> Having two of these floors is crazy. Emerge. Right here. Nothing lasts forever. Mind the side effects. Remember, health comes first. With sword comes shadow. Oh, that's a ginger one. God damn it. Right now, emerge. Right here. The doctor will see you. Mind the side of it. Don't blink. Yeah. Incoming. Cut to the chase. This is where things start to fall apart. Seems like an emergency. A bitter pill to swallow. I should probably be running a different team. Just not totally certain what it should be. Mind the side effects. We'll at least run through this once and then see what needs to be done. Mind the side effects. Cause this sucks. A bitter pill to swallow. Remember, health comes first. I'm gonna probably do a, a melt team. Yeah. <laughs> this is nothing. Seems like an emergency. Yeah, that's that. The doctor was seen. 
Mind the side effects. To swallow. Maybe some kind of Navia team for the plunging. Taking a turn for the better. Because Navia plunge is pretty good. And I haven't been using Cloud Retainer in the Abyss, but I probably could. Mind the side effects. Like she is another healer. I've just kind of been stuck running these two teams, not thinking about it. Emerge right now. I'm always watching. Right here, right now. The doctor was seen. But now this team is not performing like, like it was a couple of abysses ago. Right here, right now. Mind the side effects. Seems like an emergency. Incoming. Good. Oh, and you motherfuckers. Right here, right now. Emerge. Nothing lasts forever. And that one dude who only right ever now. appears here. The deck do a scene. Mine. Speed of light. Yes. Yeah. Death delivery. Death. Emerge. Right now. Remember, health comes first. The deck. Don't blink. Nowhere to hide. Coming through. Right here. A bit of Sheesh. I'm always watching. Emerge right now. This is probably just gonna be a one star. Fuck me. With sword comes shadow. My tail. Right here, please. Right here, right now. The deck you will see. Yep. Seems like an emergency. Hey. Dude, to right? What the hell even is that shit? Coming through. <sighs> there is no escape. Torn to oblivion. <laughs> This is also an annoying phase. Just keeps you from actually doing damage to the boss. Okay. okay. Ugh. Let's see how the rest goes. I guess it was a similar... Uh... Similar one last time. Right here, right now. I also didn't do particularly well. Speed of light. Yeah, what's up? How was how was uh, golden troop farming? Emerge right here. Oh brother. Nothing lasts forever. Oh, I forget how this boss right works, now. even though I've been fighting him a right bunch. Here. Taking a turn for the better. Sword comes shadow. Back, back. No luck. That sucks. 
lurch. Right here. But that's right the way now. of the farming. A bitter pill to swallow. Mind the side effects. Incoming. <sighs> Nowhere to hide. Sign here, please. Seems like an emergency. Emerge. Alright, I'm done right with now. that. <coughs> A sight to behold. Right here. Emerge. Okay. A bitter yep. pill to swallow. Don't blink. Hey! <laughs> oh no. Cut to the chase. I'm still pretty good on Coming time. <laughs> right here. Emerge. Mind the side effects. The doctor will see you. Taking a turn for speed of light. <laughs> yeah, one second. To hide. Let me get through this last bit. Nothing lasts forever. Right now, emerge. Server. Uh, I'm on North American server, but I can recheck your your build through Akasha. There is no escape. All right. I. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about this boss. Things are about to get dicey. When do I? Oh, okay, I already have it. We already have this part. Okay. I guess with Raiden, I don't have anyone else that would normally plunge. Oh, shit. Oh, you gotta fucking time it. Yeah, she's doing all right. Oh, come on. Fuck. Quiet. Oh, brother. Torn to oblivion. And you're dead. I'm not equipped for this boss. Things are about to get dicey. And I hate plunge so much. Nope. Uphill battle. Don't worry. I think we need. As I think we need to refigure my teams for doing all of that. Watch the road ahead and avoid walking. Yeah. Because what I basically tried to do with both of those teams was I tried to make two teams that could beat any abyss. And it worked for a while. And now it no longer works. Because for some reason, Hoyaverse keeps pushing this plunge meta, and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't, I fucking don't like plunge. Alright, so you said you updated your Chiori? Let's refresh your Akasha. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Interesting.
The triple attack might be too much. That's a crazy circlet. It sucks that it's attack percent. But it does have a high CV value. So I don't know who you would really use that on because you would want you really want that main stat to be a crit. Um You've got way too much attack. You took a step forward, but a couple steps back. It's okay. Go back to those opulent husk pieces that you were using. Um, and I don't know if Emblem of Severed Fate is really what you want to go for. 19k normal attack? Well, oh, shit. I mean, you, I, hey, you could do some kind of crazy build. You could do some kind of crazy build. That's interesting. I mean, at that point, get a physical goblet. Get a physical damage goblet. That's something. I'll tell you what, that's something. <laughs> uh. If you're doing more damage, if you're doing more damage overall, then it works. Mm. Hold on. I have tea that is probably done, well done brewing. One sec. Okay, so there is a point of diminishing return when you invest heavily into a singular stat. Like there, there, there is a a curve at which point uh, your damage stops uh, increasing. And I would honestly, just, just out of curiosity, if you have a defense piece to swap in, try it. Just try it. I'm curious. Because <clears throat> there are instances where you can go crazy on a particular stat and pump it out super hard. And it depends on what you're trying to build. But generally, you want to have a balance of stats. And I don't know if you use it, but this is how I'm looking at your build, is through Akasha. Um, Akasha system. I don't know if you use it, but it's a very helpful tool. It gives you a little graph, and it tells you where you're at with all your stats and stuff. <clears throat> and you don't have to make an account. Just type in your user ID uh, and, and your, your info will pop up. Mm 
is a very interesting build. I'll give you that. Especially if you're hitting 19k normal damage. Could be fun. Could be fun. <sighs> Under the trees. Then the lightning. Which one? Oh, I mean, I'm just saying that that depends on if you have a defense piece that's decent enough to swap out. Like, literally, I'm saying, just to try it out, just to test it. Like, that's one thing that you, you, uh, I do a lot with builds uh, is, is go and test against one particular enemy. I like to go to... Um, <clears throat> not pose any problem. Uh, Masanori. I like using Masanori to test out characters or teams. And so all you got to do is go over to him or, or some people use like one of the world bosses or whoever you want to fight doesn't really matter um you have sands all right then swap out the sands um <clears throat> and test out between the two um are you getting better damage output with your attack sands I suggest getting or indoors your to defense avoid these sense. conditions, if possible. Yeah, I'm going to abandon that. The sands is already good. Yeah, but try it. You never know. It literally, it is, it doesn't take anything to, like, just swap around pieces and, and test. And so, like, here's here's a bit of an example that I went through with my Yaimiko and building her. I don't know if I'm gonna be fine if I'm gonna be able to find the exact piece that was the particular issue. Maybe it was one of these. Hmm. Shit, I can't remember. I think it was a flower. Maybe it was something like this. Just, just as an, an example. Um because it might not exactly work out. But this is some, This is what happened with when I was building Yaimiko. I had these two pieces, and they were both really good. And I liked this piece because let's say that it has a higher crit value. Um, like, you know, I think it actually probably does. Anyways, more crit rate, more crit damage. And I'm like, oh, that makes for a, a Yaimiko that hits harder. But this other piece, where I'm losing a bit of crit rate, I'm gaining some attack. And actually, that little bit of attack was something that brought up my Yaimiko to hit just a little bit harder, even though it might be counterintuitive because I want, you know, whatever perfect crit value. But because my initial attack value was too low, that crit value didn't matter. <sighs> Traveling to other worlds is all that anyone seems to be writing about these days. <laughs> Goodness knows what they find so disappointing. And I didn't totally realize that until I swapped between those pieces and tested her out to see which hit harder. Yeah. It's a bunch of testing and seeing what, what works, what gets you more damage. Um, and what you like. Because maybe you really like uh, your uh, hyper attack, normal damage, Shiori. That's interesting. And if that's how you want to play her, then do it. But you might be surprised that swapping a different piece might give you more damage here or there. <clears throat> it's a process.
And there's no one exact answer. There's a lot of answers. There's a lot of blueprints on how you should build a character. But realistically, build them however you want. Let's try putting this team on first. And then the second team. I really just need to focus on that because I think everything else, that's not hard. That's not terribly hard. And I think that should work, because it's mobs. We're fighting mobs. Honestly, I kind of want to try. don't really have a team built for just Navia. I gotta think about plunge. All right, you know what? This doesn't totally make a whole lot of a whole lot of sense, but <sighs> eh, fuck. Need a healer. Or I could do Baiju. But Dendra doesn't really work in that. She's not particularly built and just not exactly. Made for Navia, but get that Gia resonance. Got a better attack goblet? Nice. Defense. Oh, even better. Try it out. Try it out. Let's just go with something. Shit, it's, it's the fucking plunge that... Uh, 
that trips me up on this because normally it's like oh i could like put ganyu and shinha and then like even like a, a hydro character and then like yoimiya it's like that would work that'd be great but then i have to think about who can plunge and it's like well navia i need a healer I don't have Zhongli. <laughs> Pretty much everyone on this row and up are realistically built to some degree. I don't use Bennett either. Maybe Layla? Yeah. I'll try it. Because we'll get shield. Which will be helpful. Chi Chi? If my Chi Chi was built. <laughs> She's level 20. Um. My other thought is possibly some sort of weird superconduct team with Navia. Let's try this. Let's try this. We we're, we're wasting time not doing anything, so let's at least try it. Shine down! Now you shall perish! Ha! <laughs> Cloud Retainer is a healer. Illusion shattered. Inazuma shines eternal. Let my name echo in song. Peoples are about to get dicey. Quietly now. Yep, she heals on her Q. That's that's literally how I built her. It was just to just to heal. And she scales on attack. Her healing scales on attack, which is shine down, torn to oblivion. Strike a pose. Let the world come alive. Game's up. From Silva. Quietly now. Allow me. Torrent, I'm not you. Oh yeah, they're different. They they're different names. Inazuma shines eternal. Hell yeah! Congrats! Alright. What the fuck is this team? <laughs> Alright. We're gonna have to learn what the fuck to do with this. A proper send up! Your grand finale! Observe! Yeah! Got her! Skyward! Seize the skies! My guiding stars. Oh, mine to command. Not now. Ha! Come! Hiya! Ha! Umbrella warfare, I guess. Literally, I guess. I step. Yeah! Skyward! Huh! My guiding stars! Stars! Feeling lucky! 
Uh, Mona is good. I don't really have her built anymore. I should. We'll see. Not now. Don't be scared. Umbrella warfare, I guess. This is some real goofy ass shit. Something. You just lost 50-50? Oh, you got... Oh, that's why you're asking if Mona's good. <laughs> yeah. I like Mona. She's good. You gotta get over her sprint. Her sprint is weird, but she's a good... Uh... She has some crowd control, and she buffs your team. Let's see, let's see what else we can get with this goofy ass yeah, yeah, shit. Normal and charge attack down plus 20%. Yeah, we can do that. Shower me with praise. Time to shine. Here comes the catch. Busted. Yeah. She if if you wanna take if you wanna take screenshots, uh those big numbers showcases they're usually using Mona now you shall perish there is no you let my name echo in song games up from silver gotcha allow me covenant of the deep all right let's see how we do against you motherfuckers Stupid shield. Why do you not exist in the overworld? Illusion shattered. Torn to oblivion. Let the world collide. Things are about to get dicey. Quietly now. Rusty rebuild. Billowing third. A brash maneuver. You shall perish. Let my name echo in song. Here comes the catch. Gotcha. Yo! 
This Go is on. one Go of on. the teams of all time, let me tell you. Where are you? There you are. Not now. The night is cold. I'm fellow warfare, I guess. Oh, Feeling brother. lucky and step. Skyward! Scatter! Stray clouds converge! Okay, let's do punch. Not particularly fantastic. Uh, what's your plan at you? And leap. Strike is one. Yeah. Got her. Go. Cold. Line to command. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Watch out. Be a little lucky. Fire. Well, mm -hmm. with rocks. Oh really? I love her voice line. And leap. Yeah. Got her. Skyward. Not now. Stars shine for me. The next. Seize the skies. Coming at ya. Ha. Umbrella warfare, I guess. As team ain't it. I want to see how she does. She repeated it like 20 times. Yeah. That's just a part of doing this shit. I want to see how she'll do with the plunge on the mechanical array. Umbrella warfare, I guess. Fire! So we're gonna keep well, going forward. <laughs> this one's got yours and step. Your grand finale. Stray cloud converge. Yeah. Got her. Come here. Okay. Stars, shine for me. My guide. Which one are you? Which one? Umbrella warfare, I guess. Feeling lucky. And step. Skyward! Got her! Don't be scared. Not now. <clears throat> Umbrella warfare, I guess. Okay. Ha. Fire! Well, <laughs> with rocks. <laughs> hey there! Oh, it didn't crit. Observe. Break a leg. Yeah. And we're spending too stars. much time. Stars, shine for me. Feeling lucky? Ha ha! Feeling lucky? Getting the paper girl treatment? A proper send-off! From the Spina with oh, come on! Down. <sighs> Alright, let's find out how her damage is with... You know what? That's probably okay. Uh, with the plunge. Shine shit. down. Show me with praise. Uh -oh. We don't have the energy. We need more energy. <sighs> what a Holy drag. shit! Quietly now. Holy fuck! There is no escape. Let the world come. Come on, come on, come on. Shit, 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 shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. No! Heal, 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 heal. Come on, 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 come on. Illusion shattered. Torn to oblivion. Strike a pose. Busted. Here comes the cat. All right. Taurus, bring refuge. Allow me.
girl, max level, max light count, princess. Nice. Alright. I hate this boss. Where did that come from? Alright, no joke. Seize the skies. Yeah, skyward. The night is cold. Cold. Must observe. Jin, plunge team. God bless. True tragedy. There we go. Make way for the. Ow! I'm fine. This one's got your name on it. Umbrella warfare, I guess. Yeah, got her. Not now. Cold. Mind to command. The night is cold. Too much time of Navia having to be on field, where we almost get demolished. This one's got your name on it. Hey there! Oh, she's dead. <laughs> Even a possibility. Sheesh. The night is cold. Ha. <sighs> I'm kind of thinking this superconduct might not be the worst thing ever. Yeah. Not now. Yeah, we, were, we were on track. Stars, shine for me. Yeah, got her. Skyward. 
I really don't even know why I'm continuing. Strike cloud confirmed. My guiding stars. so I can get more time against this boss. Not now. I don't think Yun Jin was helping at all. Besides literally being another Geo character. Stars, shine for me. My guiding stars. I think Layla is a good idea with her shield. Because she has basically 100% shield up time. It's just a matter of figuring out rotation. Who, who should actually be in this team? Come on. Oh, brother. I need to level her. I need to level Ningguang. But she could be an option. I don't know. Is that elemental resonance even like that worth it? Shield strength by 15%. Additionally, characters protected by a shield have the following special characteristics. Damage dealt increased by 15%. Dealing damage to enemies will decrease their Geo Res by 20% for 15 seconds. That seems pretty good, but is it enough to build around? When potentially... We could do some kind of... Superconduct. <sighs> My mind is completely blank. I need to get out and unwind. A similarly weird team. But I mean, yeah, as long as Navia doesn't die, she should be fine. And I wonder if the superconduct would be of any use. And I mean, Cloud Retainer could be f swapped out for Baiju. Just for needing a healer. I'll be right back one second.
I'm going to think about this. I'm probably not going to continue with this right now. Personally, I... Yeah! Skyward! Scatter! Cool. Oh, shit. I think I missed Star Rail dailies. Oof. 13 days. I'll figure something out. I want to tr I want to try. I'm going to at least try something to get that 36. try and do some research and see what we might be trying to build somebody else as well because there could be some sort of synergy that I'm potentially missing because I was honestly like haven't been building characters <clears throat> in order to try and clear the abyss <clears throat> Like I literally just stopped caring. And now I kind of care again. <laughs> I have a couple of geo options. And of course, plenty of four star options to build. So maybe that'll be a goal for this account. If you are presently an is to, uh, to 36 star of the abyss again. Especially with that fucking plunge guy I bet Zhao mains are eating good with the abyss all right I want to switch over to star rail Go to the other window. Okay. Nope, there it is. Okay, for a second there, I thought it wasn't gonna work. Um. Eight hours. Man. Sixteen pity, fifty fifty. Let's see, was there that? We did all of that pretty much. 
gonna hold off on the MOC until we get adventuring. I want to try them out. Come with me, take the What's up with this? Another, another one. Okay, large amount of characters. Oh, okay. What's his, uh, what's Adventuring's, uh, wait, the, the, this material? Which material does he need? I don't know if I have much of any of them. I did farm some of those. I don't have many of any of these. Suppressing edict? Show? Oh, uh, that one. Nice. Wait, wrong one. Stagnant Shadow. That one? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Imaginary. His shields are thick. They look thick. Infallible. Stream four. The gleam of old flames. Oh, yeah. There's auto. And consistent. That's what it looked like. Especially the since they're on his skill. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Every turn you can spam it. Nice. That's my issue with, uh, been my issue with Japard, uh, is it takes forever to get his shield. Gather as one. Ill tidings manifest. Time for a buzz. <laughs> Get some more water, hold on. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. And I, I imagine, because he's follow-up, he, or he has follow-up, so, um, he'll be able to slot into any sort of follow-up team, which I think is another good thing. And I imagine that they'll create, they'll release a character who is, uh, a sustained with dot focus, the way that he's follow up focus, sustain. Together as one, ill tidings manifest. Time for a and I, I probably I need to build a follow up team 
So I think he, he he makes a lot of sense for my account. Again. Criminal. Criminal. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Time his shield gets hit, he gets one stack. So stacks reach forms a follow-up. Okay. I knew he had some sort of stack system. This is double speed. Blake, all right. For the Imagine a. And he has a crit damage on boost on his ult. That's tight. Alright, so imagine a preservation character that in some way adds a debuff or uh, a dot to the enemy whenever they do it, uh, some sort of attack. Or even maybe... You can put the uh, universal market on them. Also, he multiple shield hits equal multiple stacks. And is that for anybody that has a shield? Or is that if he gets hit? Together as one. Ill tidings manifest. Time for a buzz. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you get crit damage to the team on his own. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Okay. And it is, uh... Anybody has a shield? All right. I mean, that would make the most sense. Converge and awaken. Ill fate descends. Time for a buzz. <laughs> <laughs> this is double speed. I weep for the departed. <laughs> it too shall fall. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Easy. Easy, easy. What is that? 40? 40. That'll be fine for right now. Another blood debt repaid. He's the first useful husband that you pulled. For veteran DPS. <sighs> we can get some fuel. Let's push to get that. Um, well, I mean, there's. I feel like Welt still holds a pretty high position amongst the standard characters. Not not as high as Brian yet, but he's up there. Dr. Ratio, he's pretty husbando. Japar just got power crept hard.
Dan Hung, Luocha, Blade. Yeah, I see what you mean, DPSs, yeah. Hey, for real. I still need to finish the, the Swarm Simulator Universe. And maybe we'll push that once I get adventuring. Because that's, that's a game mode where... Fushuan kind of falls off because she can get one shot. I'm gonna finish that. I still need to do that. His shield can stack. Well, I know that you can get his his shield multiple times. Is that what you mean? Auto battle spams his shield a lot. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, that's probably fine unless you're... I don't know. Because there is, like, you can kind of play him offensively. Um, I'm not going to be doing that. But as far as a... As far as a, a shield bot is concerned, that's pretty good. Take right now in the chest. I still stand up in the ER. Are you building him with just straight defense, defense, defense? Or what? Let's go finish this fucking thing up. Let's go mix some drinks. And he's not even fully built yet? Nice. I feel like that's a good measure of a character, honestly, is like, how are they performing at low investment? Defense all rocks and break effect rope. Okay. For Akron purposes. Oh, interesting. Okay. I'll have to <sighs> think about that then. Did you put Universal Market on him? That's what I, I have that leveled up that I plan to use. Enter the emo scape. I love that they called it that. It's so stupid. Oh. Discover Lady's true feeling. Okay. time I see them, I get super nervous. Am I pull for adventuring? Or, uh, no traces were active yet? Oh, the, uh, okay. That's interesting. Um, only shield characters is built such a part. Yeah. Definitely do that.
I really, and I mean, you could wait until the end of the banner to see who they're going to put up next. Uh, I mean, my thing is that preservation, having a shield or any sort of damage reduction or damage mitigation seems to be better than healing. Next is Robin and Boot Hill. I don't know what either of them do. Have they put anything out? Hashtag adventuring is, is uh, trending. Really red skill. He can really stack up his. Okay, cool. <laughs> a great idea someone put a made a shitty photoshop of uh adventuring and dr ratio getting married being officiated by albert where's the where's the freaking star rail there it is the shield effect can stack up to 200% of the current shield. So you get over shield? That's crazy. I really feel like they threw Boot Hill just fucking out of nowhere. I don't totally understand why they do that sometimes. Where they where they they throw out a character before really having any introduction. I mean, I think I think that we heard Boot Hill Uh, talk to Black Swan. I think that's who that was. But it's still like, we, he's physically not shown up. And, and people are gonna pull for him. I mean, I'm sure people fucking pull for him. He looks cool. But I at least do enjoy being a little bit more... I don't know invested in the character through story. I'm trying to play on Boot Hill. I'm probably, I'm probably not going to pull for him. I'll pull for Adventuring, and then if it's Robin and Boot Hill, I'm going to probably skip both. He's the real Galaxy Ranger. He's 
mad about Akron. Well, then I don't like him. <clears throat> um, but yeah, because yeah, that's what he it was. That's what he was talking about over the 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 memo phone to Black Swan was all that shit. So, skip them all until Akron rerun. And shit, you have so much saved up, you'll be getting C6, E6 Akron then. Because that might be a year from now. Oh, probably not, probably more like. Six, seven, eight months. Another journey begins. Still waters of oblivion. A quick divination. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Kind of be in the next months. <laughs> uh, I don't think they're uh, things over her market rate. I don't think they're desperate for money. Time for a fun. <laughs> I think they just. Uh, this combat needs optimizing. They just got up into the top fifteen uh, richest companies. <laughs> this is double speed. I think that they are doing just fine. <sighs> Which I always find so funny, like, and this happens every patch. I guarantee you there's like a video that's just been posted by somebody that's like, Genshin Impact is fucking dead. And it's like, no, it's not. And it's never gonna die. I don't, yeah, I don't think you're allowed to uh, post links in this chat. They're on the YouTube community? Oh, weird. See, I always go to Twitter. And I feel like their Twitter is not actually that good. Okay. Okay, so she is harmony, physical. I don't need any more harmony characters. There's even a song of Robin's alt, but sang by Boot Hill. Oh, that's goofy. That's goofy, I love it. Hmm. I'm at least glad that they made Robin a five star. You know how you can kind of just sometimes uh, tell is like, man, that's going to be the four star or that's going to be the five star. I thought that they were going to make Robin the four star. Um, I'm glad she gets to be a five star because she's so pretty. Um, Boot Hill must 
play a, a, a future role that's important for him to be a five star. So he's a hunt. They're both physical. Hunt physical, okay. His VA outed himself pretty early. What does that mean? Is that officially released? Make. Oh, good friend then. So I'm reading an article. Okay. Oh, I'm sure they'd be hyping those characters up. Who are you, Siobhan? <laughs> All right, that's what the whole this whole thing's about, is making drinks. Refreshing drink. Not too savory. So what about that? That. And that. That doesn't look too bad. A little, 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 little lemon. A little lemon. I would drink that, maybe. Better than some of the other drinks I fucking made. They look disgusting. I think half of my drinks have turned out brown. The drinks can stabilize their emotions? Okay. I'd love to, uh, to pull for Robin. I think her character's really good. But they need to stop coming out with so many good Harmony characters. And I also really don't need a Hunt character. I pro I really need I need a destruction character. Which 
If I can get real lucky on the banner and get adventuring super fast, like super early, I'm gonna put the rest of the wishes into Jingliu and just fucking pray. And then chill for a banner or two, for a patch or two. Too light. Give me two of those. Give me that. 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 What is that, Robin? Robin. Go for Ambivitor Lune. That would make sense. I have Sparkle. Or Jingliu. I feel like those would both be good options. And Bibiter Lune, if possible. And I'm going to go for Jingliu if things go well. Because um, those are both two elements that I'm not... I don't have great coverage with. Um, I could build up my Doctor Ratio. You feel he's kind of L, but kind of boring. I suppose he's pretty formulaic. But really, kind of, most characters are, to a degree. <clears throat> I think Jing Liu would be a better choice simply because I don't have any ice damage. I've got none. Um, well, no, I don't think that's it. What the fuck is this drink? plan to pull for her initially and I don't remember what reason I didn't pull for her and I could hold out for a future imaginary damage dealer Potentially. I don't know who that might be in the future. Um, I also talked about pulling for Topaz on her rerun. And really, really get that that follow-up team running, which would probably be, be huge for dealing with pure fiction. 
And since I'll be getting a Venturine, that also makes sense. I need to build Dr. Ratio. His build is so shit. Top ten, man. It's my pursuit of beauty. A follower of beauty. Growing jingle, jingle, you, Doctor Asia, sparkling shield, sustain. That's an interesting team. Yeah. color layers. There you go. That's kind of pretty. But, you know, this is all speculation. We'll see. We'll see how it, uh, the polls go in a little bit. Shit. We'll have to be really lucky. Which, I mean, I've been lucky on this account. Not 15, I think. Like, no pity. Well, I got plenty of pulls for at least one character. But I'm on a 50 50. Oh, alright, we gotta do one more. Like I said, it's gonna take some luck. 
And possibly the whole pat or the the whole banner. So hopefully they get some some more events and uh, and pre uh, stellar jade. Income happening. Mini wine glass. Hey, what's up, dum dum? Less ice. So glad. Blossom dew. Gross. better since I'm not pulling for anyone anymore. Hmm. You give me the extra luck? Thank you. I'll take it. I will take it. Something fascinating happened to your Honkai Star Rail account? I don't believe it. What happened? What happened? Spill the tea. Exactly negative one mellow. Yeah, I think so. Fine. It's whatever. Akron ten pulls in the last hour. <clears throat> Same in a white cone. Holy shit! That's incredible. Fucking enjoy her. She, like, you... <laughs> she's so cracked, it's not even funny. You've beaten the game. You have beaten the game. See, that's what I, I was talking about a little bit earlier. Star Rail's just, like, juiced with the luck. I swear. This is a sign for me? Absolutely. Absolutely. What's what's going on, uh Nishida? Nishida? Hopefully I got that right. I'm bad with names. I don't know what's going on with this event. Let's make another drink. Cool. No, we've still got the Acheron. We've still got the Acheron banner going on. It's, it's going to be a couple hours. It, I won't be able to pull until I stream again. I think it's like eight hours, seven hours left. You have a weird name? I don't know. Probably not, honestly.
It looks pretty. I'll tell you that. We have seven hours? Okay. I don't think I could pull up the, the wish screen right now. Large. Oh, brother. Uh, flavor base broken. A negative one. Yeah, Asia gets the characters first, which is so weird. But whatever. Because update happens simultaneously. Like maintenance and stuff, it always happens at the same time. Which, I mean, makes sense. But they could line up the banners. Strong. Do that. Stir. Broken. Slightly sweet. Star Rail is Genshin, but less cavemen. Yeah, it's just... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Any best for luck for now? I don't know. What characters do you have on your account? That's an ugly drink. Because if, if you're in, in need of a sustain, Adventurine seems to be pretty dang good. I'll be pulling for him. First ever banner five star. Oh, then you got you got the whole world ahead of you. <laughs> uh So you could, if I can press the correct button. I'm probably run a, a team along the lines of your Acheron. Portfolio match. What? Huh? Do an Akron, Pela, and then whoever else you have is Nihility. I think you should be able to have, you probably should have a Pela, but I don't actually know. Um. And then a sustain. So let's just put Sampo. And then any sort of, I mean, you could do fire trail, actually fire trailblazer. You have Pela. So I'd set up a team like this. Whoever, whatever other Nihility character. You can swap in. Pela's going to be sick. Um, and then fire, fire MC. And then if you put, if you have it, you have Sampo as well. Yeah. I don't know if he's going to be the best four star Nihility, but you just need two Nihilities. Um, 
And then if you can, with Fire MC, if you have... Do I have another one of them? Yeah, okay. If you have this light cone, it's going to be a good team. If you have uh, Trend of the Universal Market, you can put that on your Fire MC. And that's going to be a good team. And then in the future, honestly, pull for whoever the hell you want. It's kind of like Genshin. It doesn't really matter. You'll, you'll be able to beat pretty much everything. <gasps> you could uh, probably pull for... probably pull for uh robin because you want some some harmony units if you're gonna because you're gonna probably you know you will at some point make another team uh i don't know but for now enjoy acheron she's gonna carry you You've been playing, yeah. I get you haven't been playing long, huh? I know you you had talked about it somewhat before that you had started it early on and then dropped it. I think maybe I got that wrong. Go into their emo sphere. Emo scape. Oh, it's a bubble. This is a dream bubble. Of course. The game's only been out for a year. I've been playing for a year. I've been playing since the first week. But clearly it paid off. If you just thought, why not, and tried to pull it anyways, hell yeah. And now you can enjoy a game that is... Fucking fantastic. I love Star Rail. And like, honestly, if I had to choose between Star Rail and Genshin, I would choose Star Rail. Like, and it's always like such a, a, a kind of a bullshit comparison or whatever, because they're very different games, but I've found a lot more uh, enjoyment, and I think that Star Rail is a bit better of a game. But they're different games, so it's like, it's hard to compare, but, you know. I'm also a person that grew up playing turn-based RPGs, so. I would choose emoji face. And I'll be honest, this this uh, this event has not really, not really captured my interest too much. It's always a pleasure to spend time with friends. Are you willing to give up this life? Here you'll find two doors. Yes, now. 
Do one left means yes, one right means no. Riddle me this. It's always a pleasure to spend time with friends. Are you willing to give up this life? It's always been a pleasure to spend time with friends. Are you willing to give up this life? No. Star Rail is definitely funnier than Kenshin. Kenshin has open world, which makes it good. Yeah. Like, it's a tough comparison. And I, and I don't think it's totally right to, like, strictly uh, compare the two outside of the fact that both come from Hoyaverse. Um... And I mean, you know, I could fucking probably talk hours about the two. Um, Fab, planner synthesizer, and customized defense bomb. Yeah. Games are not comparable, though, honestly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's a weird thing. But people always bring it up. You've been playing for about zero seconds? No. Welcome to the game, it's very fun. Just don't spend any money. There's, re there's really no need to spend money. And I say that as someone who's spent a bit of money. Well, that's also one factor. I really, only, I've only spent within my means, basically. Back when I had uh, a disposable income from a normal job. And it's so easy to do free to play. You just have to spend the time. It's really the trade-off. It's time versus money. They're both the same thing. Yeah, I don't I don't know what just happened with that. I think we got whipped. But I'm not totally certain. Because I've not been reading this event. <laughs> uh, losing your freedom and being at the mercy of others is painful. Do you want to escape that kind of life? Uh, familiar ceiling. Oh. Oh. A familiar ceiling. Okay. Losing your freedom and being at the mercy of others is painful. Do you want to escape that kind of life? Yeah. I would escape that kind of life. It's really free to play friendly. The only other game that I have more experience that I have uh, experience with that I would say is more free to play friendly would honestly be uh, Nikkei. Do I make money by streaming? Not yet. Not yet. But that's what I'm working on.
I also have not been streaming for very long. That's very much a factor. Do you think we should turn back into the Sweet Dreams troop? Hmm. Oh, no, that's totally fine. Um, <clears throat> my previous profession and, like, career that I had going uh, was that I was a, a, a visual effects artist for Hollywood, for movies and TV shows. And uh, there's no work. There was uh, double strikes that happened last year and it has continued to cripple the entire industry. I got laid off last year and work has not picked up and all of the industry rumors and indicators are that work will not pick back up until maybe the end of this year, start of next year. So this is what I'm doing in the meantime. And if this picks up well enough at some point, then I'll keep at it and not have to go back to uh, the industry. Oh my, yeah, it's, it's a pretty shitty situation. Um, it's tough, it is. I prepared for it. I saw it coming. Um, there are other people who are worse off than I am. Uh, so I'm very grateful that I was able to position myself uh, to be okay for a while. Um, and so I'm, I'm not sweating it. I'm weathering the storm and trying something else out. So, as of right now, it doesn't really matter if I make money off of streaming or not. Obviously, that's the goal, but, you know, I have a backup plan for, if it doesn't, I'll just return to my career. I'm in a, I'm in a, uh, a rather interesting and you could say privileged position despite how bad it looks. Do you think we should turn back into the Sweet Dreams troop? Still creators? Thank you. This was definitely a... Uh, pushing myself out of my comfort zone. I've never been a uh, oh, I guess we have to answer no. Uh, I don't know. I've never been a center of attention type of person. I'm, I really don't even consider myself an entertainer to any degree or front, front facing I'm social enough. I got social skills, and I've enjoyed being demonstrated. I don't know. I think you. I think you'll find a, a wide, wide variety of different people who stream, and what their backgrounds are. Typically, typically, you're Indian, okay. Y'all, uh, y'all do a lot of, uh, work with Hollywood. Yes, I'm American, yeah. Um... But visual effects, 
and generally the the movie industry is real big in India um, there's plenty of studios there um, and uh, Hollywood outsources a lot of work to India so I imagine outside of any of the local India Indian uh, mo movie industry um, that they're probably feeling it as well where, where am I where am I supposed to go okay Let me pick you oh that's nice it shows you <gasps> and it shows their Eidolon level that's nice so I don't have her yeah, wow. Genius. I want the new one. Let's go. I'll focus more on actors and actual stories. Or like culturally what y'all uh, enjoy in, in, in movies. Cause yeah, that's that's a pretty that's a pretty uh, realistic knock on Hollywood that I would agree with. It, it does have a lot to do with who who is the cast in the movie, who's the star studded actor in it do they have a big name to pull in an audience so that you can make money i never dealt with any of that everything i did was in post-production as an artist very well out with the old and in with the new Somewhat. If the stories are bad, but the actors are famous, and that's yeah, somewhat. I think in the age of streaming, it's very well. Out with the old and in with the new. It's less so, and people can sniff out that uh, that bullshit. And I think that audiences are actually more more discerning now than they had been. Um, but really, it's... CEOs and studio heads that don't understand. Have I worked on movies that are famous? Yes. I have. Um, I do apologize. I'm not gonna. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna name any. Uh, I do wish to keep anonymity uh, with my streaming. And if I was to mention. Um, Any, any any number of shows that I've worked on, uh, someone could potentially figure out who I am. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah, it could. It could dox me. Hmm. 
Is that the event fully cleaned up? Is there anything else it did? Oh no, there's one other thing. Oh, there's a, still a mission, okay. Okay. Oh, it's all the way over there. What the hell? The Starcrasher boss, the newest boss. This haven of memories. Every touch. The big blue. Every moment blue. is like a thorn rose. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. Sparkle, <laughs> walking your dog. Yeah. Oh, dude, you could hit multiple millions in the simulated universe if you get a good build. It doesn't even give a shit. Like, oh, yeah, whatever. Uh, it's kind of open world. Honkai Star Wars is kind of open world. <sighs> My dream is right. There's just a bunch of different... smaller... areas. Which, honestly, I'm so glad about. I don't know if anyone else feels it, but I've been feeling open world fatigue from so many games being open world. I checked off well, the sorry. list. Who's this person? That guy tried to take. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay, good boy. It's a lady who wants her to be famous. Hold on, sorry. Give me one second.
now I'm back. What are the strikes about in Hollywood? Oh, the strikes have ended. Um. They were about a lot of things. <laughs> uh, so there were two strikes that happened at the same time. Uh, one of them was the actors and the other was the writers, which shut down all production. Um, so it was a dual strike. And... Um, which the reason why that there is a strike at all is because both of their, uh, both of the guilds or, or, or unions, uh, had contracts that were up and the contract negotiations did not go well. The studio heads wanted to, to take more and more. And so on the actor's side, <clears throat> it was about... The, one of the primary things was residuals, um, royalties, um, which has become trickier with streaming. Uh, whereas it used to be with, with a TV show, um, a long running TV series, like I'm sure everybody knows about uh, the show Friends. Um, as the show goes on you get your uh, your royalties continue to increase through every season but with streaming they've done some tricky some rather tricky bookkeeping in which uh, I'm going to awaken it no longer Your works like that. And that every new season technically counts as a new new TV show. Beneath and so lies an you're not abyss. building up all of that uh, all of that uh, that revenue for for when you're uh, when you're done with the show. Time for a fun. <laughs> So you're having to restart it every time, even though you're putting in multiple seasons. Um, they also... I weep for the departed. The studios wanted to uh, 3D photo scan background actors and use their likeness in perpetuity. It too shall fall. in instance have to face the consequences. Oh yeah. And we're talking about corporate America. Um, and that was uh, the the background actors being scanned was a really big sticking point for the guild as well. Because um, the royalties are going to affect you know most of the actors but Realistically, uh, it'll hit the higher paid actors a bit more. Still waters of oblivion. Whereas, if they were to photo scan a background actor and use their likeness, well then that effectively puts that actor out of work. Ill tidings manifest. And the actual ma enemies. majority of Dead actors <laughs> are not the big high end you know Brad Pitt etc um, the, the vast majority of actors uh, are regular people who work it as a job um, and so they were trying to get yeah, replace actors with computers yep which that does happen somewhat already so it becomes a little convoluted um, but this would have been put into place. It would have been like, hey, come into work. We're going to pay you $130 for one day of work. We're going to photo scan you, and then we will use you that photo scan for the rest of time. In every single 
movie and every single TV show will just put you in the back so we don't have to pay any background actors anymore ever. So it would, it would put out an entire group of actors. Because um, actually a lot of the actors are, are middle class. They're making regular money. They're not millionaires, billionaires buying mansions. Because uh, I think the Actors Guild represents somewhere between uh, 100,000 actors and 200,000 actors. Um, yeah, so people just wouldn't have a job anymore. Um, and then there was also AI bullshit with that. Um, so that's what the actors fought against. Um, and then the writers were fighting against the fact that um, in any, any TV show, um, there's what's called a writer's room, which would have like eight to 12 writers in it, somewhere around there. I'm not totally certain. Um, that's the way it had been forever. But the studios have been reducing the number of writers in every writer's room to save money. Um, so what happened there is where it's like, say, a writer's room that would normally have a dozen writers working now has six. And so everybody has double the amount of work and the, their pay does not uh, reflect that. So that was one thing that the writers were fighting for, uh, as well as uh, that the studios just wanted to flat out replace them with AI. They wanted ch they want Chat GPT to write every movie, and so that's what they fought against. Now all that's been resolved. Uh, as of, I believe it was November of last year that all that got resolved. But it had been so, so long uh, that there were no, no writers were working and no actors were shooting that uh, uh, it's caused a huge gap and there's still no work to be had. AI. It's tricky. I, I really hate AI. Um, I think it's theft. It is morally wrong. It is ethically wrong. It is also a fucking lie. It's not that good. Um, it's actually very bad at what it does. Um, but it is not the actual issue. The root issues uh, is uh, corporate greed. Um, and they, it's, it, it, it would be anything. I mean, it's been going on. It's just that this new technology comes along and all uh, the CEOs are like, wow, we could use this new technology and we'll reduce our costs. So then we'll make more money. And that's all it is. We want to make more money. Because they're not happy with making a billion dollars. They want to make a billion and, and one dollars. The voice actors are threatened to have their voice used by AI. To make more content which puts them out of work. Yeah. And here I thought AI was just Yeah. Dude, <laughs> literally. Literally. Um, it's that was the idea, and then somehow we're like Hey, what if what if instead of like reducing people's like uh, stuff. What if we just killed all the artists? It's like, what if we just had robots do all the art? Yeah, it's the greed. It's the greed. I mean, you, you, you saw the same exact shit with crypto. 
I mean, crypto got on the scene and every company was like, yo, fucking how do we blockchain, Bitcoin? Dude, what if we released NFTs, dude? And it's like, it's the same thing. It's just the newest grift. Humans make it authentic. Yeah. But humans are expensive. Yeah, I completely agree with you. Because um, I think what they would actually find out, if they try and fully make a movie, like a full-on, supposed-to-be blockbuster movie uh, with AI, it's going to fail. And not only is it going to fail... They're going to lose money. There's going to be massive backlash. Uh, people are going to be pissed. Uh, and it's going to be a trash movie. But to the people that make the decisions at the top, they're not thinking about the, the art of it. They're not thinking about making it authentic or making it a good story they're looking at numbers on a spreadsheet how do we make more money how do we reduce costs so that we can make more money what the fuck bob Iger. Oh, yeah. Um, Bob Iger, the current CEO of Disney, makes $74,000 per day. The CEO of Disney makes what most people don't even make in a year. He makes that every single day. Um, makes $27 million a year. Yeah. Um, and he's just, you know, he's just not happy with that. You know, that's just not enough, really. Like, <sighs> he only has three mega mansions and only two yachts. Why do they want more? It's a sickness. It's a sickness. Yeah, only. He's getting laughed at by the other at the by the other CEO billionaires. None of it is enough. It's never enough. Um I do think that it will end up working out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's fucking crazy. How the hell? Oh, we can go down. <laughs> uh, America's a bigger mess than you thought. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty crazy right now. It's pretty crazy right now. No, but that that's where they get the joy, I guess, or don't. I don't know. A lot of them are psychopaths and probably don't know what joy actually is.
money was a bad idea. I don't know what others. I don't know what else there could be besides bartering and trade. Probably. Yeah, pretty much. Nothing matters. That's one thing that I've kind of had to accept um, and learn. But nothing fucking matters. Which is both, like, kind of a terrifying thing and also very freeing. Um, it's, 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 it's one thing that allowed me to step out of my comfort zone and start this. It's like, who cares? Because realistically, people don't. And none of it matters, which is, I found to be very freeing. Where does this go? Jeez. Yeah. That's pretty flowers. But as far as AI is concerned, um, I've finally gotten to the point where I'm actually optimistic about it. Um, I think things will work out. The world will correct itself with it. People will fight back. It's already happening. You have a separate account on your phone? You're crazy, dude. <laughs> You're playing them at the same time? That's nuts. I think at the end of the day, the human spirit will win over. It's just that shit's really crazy right now. And there will be some sort of turning point or tipping point. Things can only continue like this for so long. Three accounts for three devices. That's one way to do it. Should laws be passed? Yeah. Laws should absolutely be passed. Uh, the the EU is is working on it, on some laws about AI. Um, I don't expect a ton to come out from um, American lawmakers. But we'll see. I could be surprised. They, they are... The uh, American lawmakers are concerned about AI's use to potentially uh, threaten democracy. Um, you know. Because someone could use AI to create way more convincing misinformation you know that could sway elections so that's where they're concerned about it they're not concerned about it being used to make movies i don't think um
so we'll see. There's also been some, a recent article that I saw that uh, Stability AI, which is one of the companies, there's Stability AI, they, I think they make Midjourney, um, and then there, there's OpenAI, uh, which is the one that's making Sora, which does the video AI stuff. Um, but anyways, Stability AI uh, is running out of money. <laughs> Uh, they're not able to pay for their server, their cloud computing, uh, because they are not profitable yet. And so they've, they've skipped out on paying their server costs. You read about that too? Okay, then yeah. Um, and also, which I expect this to get some traction uh, relatively soon is that the environmental cost for AI is going to be brought up at some point. Um, it takes so much to compute, uh, so much electricity. Um, the same thing happened with crypto. Um, and people were mining crypto uh, which, you know, if you remember, made the GPUs crazy expensive until China put a ban on crypto mining uh, due to environmental reasons. And so the same thing could happen with AI where it is now. Those would be crazy facts. I don't know if, if anyone's like ever actually messed around with AI. It takes a ton of, uh, you, you have to do it a lot to get what you want. And it's, and that aspect of it has not gotten any better. Um, and so ju just sitting there and having some machine compute over and over and over and over and over and over again, uh, is a huge expense. Um, and it would actually, it would actually, for them as a business, it would be better if it didn't have to go through so many iterations. And, and somewhat similarly, it's not quite laws yet, but a lot of companies are refusing to use AI for advertisement, which would be, you know, people don't really think about it too much, uh, or at least I don't think they do. Um, but advertisement industry is almost as big as the movie industry. Um, at least the amount of money that goes through it. Um, and there's been a lot of blowback with AI being used in advertisement. Now they've kind of fixed the hands thing. One of the one of the things with 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 AI in its current form, it it's able to do the details, but it can't do the big picture. It can't make a coherent image, but it'll give you detail, um, which is one thing that gives it. It's very. Uh, 
I personally don't like AI generated art. Most people don't. I think, I, th I think that the vast majority of people don't. Because, I mean, man. Um, I think the people that do like it are rather childish. Um, in the sense that they cannot be bothered to put in the effort, the time and and commitment that it takes to actually be an artist. Because I tell you what, as as an artist, art is fucking hard. Like it is. And so I think most people that uh, that use it just were frustrated by the process of trying to become an artist and have ultimately given up and see AI as like a way to supposedly fulfill that dream. Um, but in reality, I think that they will be unsatisfied because one of the satisfactory things is spending that time and, and learning and going through those struggles in order to improve, in order to become a good artist. Um, and they'll miss out on that. They just type in some words and they get a pretty picture. That's lame. There's there's no you didn't do anything. You didn't struggle. You didn't you didn't put your heart into it. And it's not a better thing. It's not And I don't, I don't even agree with you saying it's unfair. I think it's unfair for them. They're cheating themselves out of something. Yeah, it's a shortcut, and it's and it's a, a, a shortcut for for the actual like accomplishment and enjoyment. I find it sad more than anything. I feel sad for people that use AI and think that they're an artist. This issue with Wild Rift Coven the one icon that was just AI. Yeah, that's the thing, is that they'll uh People search for the easy way out. Yeah, they receive funding. Yeah, absolutely. In Silicon Valley. They've been selling it as, as the next big thing.
there's way there's still ways to tell the difference. I'm still I'm still pretty good at spotting it. your girl I feel that That one looks like. Make an Acheron drink? Uh, no. um. Akron. Kind of. It's not really a good purple. So with the black. And then the, the red and, and, and white for her alternate version. Um... No garnish. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so modern art. Well, what what you're actually talking about isn't necessarily modern art. It is it is what's referred to as performative art. Um, and personally, I am a fan. Um, I'm a fan of pretty much all art. Um, and it is... It's very understandable that most people... See, I do not want to do any more fucking drink mixing. Give me the reward. Um, it's very understandable that most people don't understand performative art because it is the, it's the newest iteration of art. It's the newest thing to push the boundaries and change what people think about art and what what how how do we relate with art how do we understand art um and this has happened many many times throughout history with art um and every time uh people push it 
and do something that is different. They go against the norm of what has been uh, the standard. Yeah, exactly. They aren't typing prompts and calling it art. Um, and it is it very much is art because in in the way I believe art to be, uh, because art is such a subjective uh, thing. Uh, but if you boil it down, did it make you feel something? Did the art make you feel something? And that could be anything. It could be literally anything. But did it make you feel something? Did you have a feeling? Did you have an idea? Did you think about it? You're thinking about it. You're thinking about that rotating mud wheel. So it worked. It is art. And those uh, feelings and emotions and thoughts may not be good. You might be angry. You might feel unpleasant, disturbed. It did make you understand life. It's fantastic. And you know what I feel when I look at some fucking the ne the the recent you know whatever post of some AI artist that pops up on my Instagram I feel nothing. <sighs> and that's 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 another thing is not every piece of art is going to like give you <laughs> Uh, a feeling of enlightenment. Um, not every piece of art needs to be this breathtaking, mind-melting thing that is this, you know, extreme experience. It can be as simple as a, ni a nice little picture that your friend painted. And it's not technically impressive. It's not bending the rules. Uh, it's not pushing the medium, but it means something to you because your friend painted it for you or whatever, you know? And I do think that performative art is absolutely fantastic, especially at this point in time, because it is the complete antithesis of AI art. Because an AI cannot, uh, it can, AI cannot jump off of a springboard with a paintbrush to make an arc on the wall. I'm not pulling for Acheron. Good, good, good try though. Um, the people who work hard every day in factories to make it electricity, their energy is being wasted. Yeah. It's a, it's a shit show. It'll dry up though. It'll fail. It's not sustainable. It's it's just it's the latest Silicon Valley scam. Yeah, no, I I I got that you're talking about AI with that. Yeah. Um. It's, it's the latest Silicon Valley scam. That's all it is. And all, all the people that are like super stoked on AI and think it's the future are the same idiot motherfuckers that bought Dogecoin. You know, this is the crypto bros. It's those guys on Twitter who want you to, who fucking fawn all over 
whatever stupid shit Elon Musk posts. I also think that with AI, uh, we were done a disservice in that because of sci-fi stories, um, our idea of what AI is is so much larger than what's capable or what's even possible. There's nothing intelligent about it, and it never will be. It will never be able to think for itself. It's just really good at tricking us into thinking it is. Realize this. Pentacone is like a halo. I never notice. Kind of like a halo. It's crazy looking. <laughs> no, we're completely done with that. I wish that that would have a check mark. That'd be nice. We should go full bug. There's an AI called Sunspring. Just wrote the script for Star Trek and the basis for Jurassic Park. This a sci-fi short with Thomas Middleditch from 2016. Oh, it was written entirely by AI. Okay. What does it have to do with Star Trek and Jurassic Park? famous um, it's just a short film that was written by uh, a neural network it's about nine minutes long you can watch it on YouTube I was saying is that you know sci-fi movies has have conditioned us into what we think AI is and it's not at all what it is in reality it 
Now you're good. We figured it out. We figured out what it is. Kind of crazy. It was. In, it was. It was. Uh, it was made in 2016. Well before all this shit started popping off. there is to do this is gonna i'm gonna i'm not about to stay up for six more hours to to wait to pull <laughs> um i'll be streaming again in a little bit because i think that's pretty much oh there's still some chests here that's whatever it's not a ton I think pretty much everywhere is pretty much cleaned up. There's still a little bit here and there, but that's the event done. We've still got the other event, which is fine. And I've got... What is that out here? Ba -ba -ba. 70. 70 pulls. Plus 11. Plus 13, 90. Plus 15, pity. Yep. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'll stream again in a little bit after that. Probably start around the same time. And pull for adventuring. And then build adventuring, because I'm definitely gonna get them. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and end stream. Uh, thanks, everybody, for coming and hanging out and chatting and whatnot. It's been a lot of fun. Oh, man, we went for uh, seven and a half hours. Jeez. I don't know what that that time difference is, but yeah, start stream the same time. Okay. All right, that's fine. I don't I don't know. You know, I might be late as well. Um, my shit's still crazy. Thanks. Appreciate it. Appreciate y'all hanging out and watching and whatnot. All right. Bye. I'll see y'all later. Bye bye. Thanks for hanging out.